Hello, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Welcome. We're doing a Deadlands Savage Worlds one shot today with uh, with with an exciting crew. Uh, we're going to be playing the latest version of Deadlands, the latest version of Savage Worlds, and we're doing a, an adventure by the name of The Horse Eater. Welcome, everybody. We'll do a little roundtable here, and everybody can tell you who they're playing, and then we're going to get into it. We're going to get into the action. Uh, so, Roger, why don't you tell us about your Territorial Ranger? Uh, so, yeah. Hi, I'm Roger. I am playing John Morgan, the Territorial Ranger of the Texas Rangers. Uh, he's a you know, very driven honest guy that needs that does what needs to be done yeah okay and he's old uh, and he's not fair no, he's he's not old he's uh he's very driven he's a uh, rather overweight sure. and, oh right and yeah and like a fat no, <laughs> like a fat I, don't man, geez. <laughs> I don't think he's old <laughs> no he's not old i'm sorry he's obese and he's in stubborn as hell stubborn, stubborn. very That's driven right. The, the like deal with the Territorial fan, Rangers, you're kind of like Texas Rangers, but they've expanded uh, like the scope of them. And they've set Rangers out across the, the West to kind of keep tabs on the strange things that are going on. So that's what a, a Territorial Ranger is. Uh, next up, we've got Nye as our Huckster. Yes, hello. I am Ace, the Huckster. Um, I'm a gambler, but I also have magic. Uh... <laughs> Pete wants to hear um, your accent. Oh, here's his accent. <laughs> well, how to their partner? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness this is my accent. <laughs> Dear Looney Tunes, please don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> Which one am I? All of them, I imagine. Rootin' tootin' bestest. Card no slinger in the west. All right. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Our our. Demon dealing, card slinging spellcaster. I have a relationship with the devil. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and on the complete opposite end, we've got our, our blessed or our preacher, uh, Ben. I have some thoughts about this boy and his devilish predicament, but we shall take that into advisement for later. Howdy, y'all. I'm the Reverend Israel Stone. I'm blessed by the Almighty, and I've got a cult peacemaker that'll make peace with y'all. That's right, Izzy. I do oh, declare. I'm, apparently, Pete's been watching my me play my alien character. Ah, uh, that is a real hat that he's wearing. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, at least we got Adun as our uh, gunslinger. Hello there. I'll be playing Lonesome Harry. I will be appearing in many of the states of America for this evening keep count there might be some sort of bingo going on uh i'm a gunslinger i'm the best in the west everyone else is dead i got two <laughs> guns and i'm gonna make two holes that's my Kissing game plan is a bitch <laughs> two guns and you didn't two shoot holes. them they just died from like natural causes yeah they're really old they were all really old <laughs> yeah. now they're dead yes, best gunslinger in the west oh that's me ben you've already got a re-roll re from non-anomaly for the hat I am. They love the hat. Damn, I'm gonna go get a hat. Well, we've got our bennies though, which we have agreed are are re -rolls. better than re rolls because they Did do we? other stuff. I'll tell you what. Why don't you? And so, yeah, for a thousand points, take get take a benny for this because a benny will give you a re roll. So just go ahead and give yourself another benny. Oh well, there we go then. Thank I think, I think that's fair. All right, so let's get started here. So we're playing Deadlands. We are starting off in Deadwood in South Dakota, in the heart of the Sioux Nations. Our heroes question mark are members of the twilight legion the Le twilight legion is a group that's been established here in the u.s that kind of looks into the strange going ons that have been happening ever since the great flood and the great maze kind of took place over in california and there was a giant earthquake a mysterious rock was discovered known as ghost rock as it's dubbed it looks and acts like coal but instead uh, of just being pure black, it has these white veins that run through it. And it burns real hot and it burns for a real long time. And when it burns, it lets out like a ghostly wail. And that's where it gets its name from. So ever since people have discovered this, strange things have been happening across the United States. And one of the, um, the organizations that's been established kind of look into this, maybe cover things up also. Because the regular everyday folk don't know and not aware of these strange creatures and ghosts and harrowed and all sorts of 
strangeness that's happening out in the West, uh, you go out there and you cover it up. So, members of the Twilight Legion, you've been sent to Deadwood, South Dakota. War always seems to be on Lumen in Deadwood. The treaty passed a few years back between the town and the local Sioux has held, but tensions are always high. Miners work with permission in certain parts of the Black Hills allotted to them by the Indians, by str but stray often, either out of greed or just plain mistake. You're just finishing up the finest breakfast in town, thanks to Aunt Lou Marchbanks at the Grand Central Hotel, when you see the strangest sight through the large picture window. Four Sioux Indians ride up to the post outside of the hotel. They hitch their horses, and they walk in. What in tarnation is going on? You're sitting at the yeah, table closest to the door, day. right in front of the big main window. Good morning, fellas. Speak without laughing. Morning. morning. They they look at the group of you, and the four of them go uh -huh. over to um to the fireplace nearby, and they they warm up. They wipe their moccasins off before entering. Uh, they 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 look over at you. They kind of acknowledge you. Uh, and one of them in particular, who seems to be leading the bunch, when you when you greet them, he looks at you and when he kind of glances around the room and when he's comfortable that nobody else is looking he holds up a hand he holds it up stretched out right and he puts a fist in front of it and you know that that's kind of like the the hand signal the secret handshake if you will for the twilight legion which represents a sun on the horizon <laughs> the, the, well, the i shall minutes. return the gesture to that gentleman Sure yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the signal. Just kind I'm of back my touch brain. the hat. Sure. I'm just going to put my boots on the table and carry eating my breakfast. These eggs are damn fine, Missy. Yes, Got well, coffee. Speaking of which, yeah, Aunt Lou uh, Marchbanks comes over and she pours you some more coffee and she offers some, some breakfast um, to the Sioux who just walked in, but uh, they all politely decline. Uh, and she, she goes back to the kitchen after that. But uh, when she goes back to the kitchen, uh, one of the Sioux comes over to your table, the one who looks like he's kind of leading the, the pack, leading the bunch. And he, he steps over and he asks, uh, can I can I sit down? Well, Take sure. a seat, my friend. A free country, ain't it? And this is the one who gave you the hand signal. He's All the right, one who indicated. Get off the table. What? It's a free country, isn't it? It's a Keep free country. Keep my boots country, but... on the table if I want to. Courtesy costs you nothing, boy. It's not Sunday. I can keep my boots on the table. He uh, he he nods and thanks you. Uh, once you you open up the invitation, he takes a seat and sits between uh, between two of you. Um, he introduces himself. He says, "I'm Angry Clouds, and these are members of my tribe." You are of the Legion. Not so loud, just kind of, I'll it? just nod in response. Yes. That we are, son. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, he goes up. <laughs> <laughs> he says, the people are faced with a delicate matter, and we need the help of one such as yourselves. As he's kind of talking and looking around the table at the, the four of you, he looks down at that fresh cup of coffee you've got there. You want some? And he kind of just like breathes in the aroma, aroma and he just kind of stops and trails off for a little bit. Hey, hey, Aunt Did Louie, you want could, a coffee? Could we get some uh, more coffee no, no. for these fine boys? No, 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 I'm I'm fine. I I believe in, in the old ways. Um, I miss coffee. It's been a long time, but uh, no, I, I don't partake in any you of these. You got converted away from coffee? My people, my tribe, we don't, we don't partake in coffee technology or anything associated with Why, it. This uh, is like, it this does make you go to the toilet a lot. This is coffee. This is like morning magic medicine. This is the hot brown glory that comes up with the sun. How could you give this up, boy? He just kind of sits there and just like sniffs the aroma, just like just coming off of the, that fresh cup. Um, he looks around and he looks at the, the three other Sioux who are over at the stove warming themselves up and when they're not paying attention he, uh, he takes a sip. He but he like just quick and to the point and uh you see like oh 
is so good after he drinks that coffee. Uh, it's not uncommon for most Native Americans to follow what's known as, quote-unquote, the old ways. So, it, you know, when he mentions that, you, you know what that means, and you do respect it as well. But he steals a sip, and he smiles. He says, all right, let us discuss more important things. Two white men were slain in the hills last night. Their bodies filled with many arrows. One of our warriors never smiles is missing, but this kind of thing is not like him. We don't believe the people are responsible for this crime, but it is a delicate matter. We know you are trusted here. Will you come help us find who did this thing before it leads to conflict between our peoples? Ranger. Oh, the last thing we want is conflict. I think there's been quite enough of that. Well, I don't mind me a bit of conflict, but the Reverend and the Ranger here, they like to keep the peace without fighting, which still don't make no sense to me, but there you well, go. Well, there's conflict, and then there's conflict, isn't there, Harry? Well, yeah. A shootout's one thing, but a war, that's something entirely different. Oh, there ain't no dueling in wars. I ain't got no truck with a war. Got to be honorable. Got to be, got to look you old old opponent in the eye and watch them die exactly my point and we're talking right. about a war and a war between us folks and these folks would be not a pretty thing to see oh i seen one of them that is just messy okay so how far out from town it ought to be about a four hour ride you all have horses don't you Sure do. Yeah. Or I can get me one. Very good. Very I good. certainly hope so. He says, well, dress warm. As it's starting to rain, you look out the window and it's starting to drizzle outside. It's all muddy. Oh. And the thoroughfare is filled with mud and shit and all kinds of nastiness. And now it's starting to rain. This fancy waistcoat. It's all then over. Put a coat on over the top of it. Well, I was going to do, obviously, Reverend, I'm going to do that. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. Sometimes I think you just enjoy complaining. Well, you'd be right. Sometimes I think you enjoy being right. Yep. That's why you're a holy man, because you're always right. Well, maybe I'm yeah. right because I'm a holy man. No, I think it's the other way around. <laughs> Can I get like Shoot, a really son, you big... ornery cup of this coffee to go sure like an aunt lou in the pot or something <laughs> yeah aunt lou can set you up you get you got a canteen or, or something you can pour it in you know it's not yep. it's not the norm but she'll she'll fill it up for you it's, it's yep, some damn good coffee me. here out what on the frontier for, like then to invent cardboard cups oh, or something oh god oh god <laughs> some in. sort of this... insulated cup yeah. Those pretend eyebrows were shooting up and down when you were rubbing your eyes. Oh. <laughs> it was very strange. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you head out. You you get some coffee. You fill your canteens up. You head out there. You've got your horses hitched outside. It's a cold, miserable, rainy day. This is going to be a hell of an investigation. As you're uh, heading out, the, the four Sioux, they join you. They're going to take you to the camp. They're not going to just kind of like leave you uh, uh, on your own way to your own devices because who knows what you'd get up to but as you're out there and you're getting your horses off the hitching post you see out in the thoroughfare you see a tired looking old preacher dragging a box out onto the main street uh he's a burly man a bit heavy but a neatly trimmed beard and he yawns and he steps up on his soapbox and he looks out at a crowd that's gathering around him as he does so he catches sight of the four of you and the four suit uh-oh and he, he looks at you and he kind of gives you just like a, a creepy little smile and a wink as he does so. And then he turns back to the crowd and he says, Good morning, friends. Hearken all ye sinners, for we are all sinners. As you break your fast and head to the mines or saloons or wherever you toil, remember that God has placed the entire world before you. As it says in Genesis, every morning... Our every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. Uh, most of the people in the area, they're walking here and about. They're not st sticking around too, too much. A few stop and listen. 
Uh, some of them kind of shake the cobwebs off their mind as the rain hits them. You see some of them kind of like are perking up from the partying and drinking the night before, spending uh, their, their riches from the mines. Um, but uh, they, they're quite taken to this. And, you, and you, you have to ride past this on your way out of town. And as you do so, most of the folks give the Sioux a wide berth. And they, they stare almost in wonder as they, they ride by through the crowd. A few of the folks, they give more sinister glances. Um, there, there, there is a history of conflict here. You are in the heart of the Sioux nations, so tensions are, are quite high here between the Sioux and, and folks who have come to settle in Deadwood. I got my thumbs in my fancy gun belt just waiting for someone to say <laughs> something wrong. <laughs> if you want, uh, everyone as you ride by, go ahead and make me a common knowledge roll, please. I'm gonna watch like a hundred 3D dice hit the table here all of a sudden. Oh, all of us are just... Everybody, as you ride by. Look at that. Okay. Someone got a six. How many thingy? Hang on. If you don't have it, then it's an unskilled test at the bottom of your sheet. Oh. I go... Wait, what did I get? Oh, man, I'm not very smart. <laughs> I need to roll. <laughs> I get with the gun. I'm not very smart. Yeah, so American accent I have to do is Mickey Mouse. So <laughs> Hey, I'm not very smart. <laughs> oh. John Morgan and uh Israel Stone and, and Ace, all of you I have know. heard and seen uh this 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 preacher before. He's known as Brother Strong. Uh he's he's a peaceable enough fella. He doesn't really cause much trouble. And uh he runs the uh the Chapel of the Red Waters, which has been established here about a month or so ago. John Morgan, you're the Territorial Ranger, right? I am. So you've got a little bit more intel. You don't know what denomination the Chapel of the Red Waters is, particularly. They seem relatively harmless, but you, they're, they're, you, you know, you have compiled a bit of a file on these these folks, as they are a bit strange. But you know, these boom towns do a, attract strange people, typically. Howdy. <laughs> Evangelicals. He, he he seems yeah. to have, have um uh, rather quickly accumulated a, a, a large flock because he tends to give out uh, wine at his Sunday sermons. So uh, a lot of the that miners will, like to show up. That does make you popular. Robbery <laughs> pays. Evidently, he must sell good soap. I don't think you understand <laughs> what the soap box is for, boy. Oh. I why, but it's an empty. Where does one get an empty soap box? I have always done. So one have to buy the whole box and then well, get rid of the soap. Looking around, Where's I one? would suggest that there's not a great deal of call for soap in this town. I like to think we're riding out as we're having this utterly banal conversation. <laughs> <laughs> How many bars of soap do you reckon you get in one of those boxes? Oh, well, like I would say six. four by six and maybe five deep. So. Mm. So how many is that? Three? Right. At least... Uh, 125? Seven-tis. How, how, that, how? That's like a bar of soap for every year of your life. <laughs> well, how are you? Uh, I don't rightly know. People do die young. Well, they're going to die around. 125. What? You're 125? No, I'm not 125. <laughs> Who said I was 125? Gentlemen, Reverend. let's uh, proceed out after these fine folks and see what's to be seen. Oh, okay. All righty then. So I shall turn my collar up because it's raining and yeah, pull my hat my down. And biggest hat on. Right. <laughs> 20 gallon hat. Yep. That's going to get real heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put on a little bit of riding music here as we head into the hills. Like a nap. Yeah, just kind of riding along. Pulling out a sausage that I stash from breakfast. <laughs> bit of a mid-ride snack. I got me some coffee and I got me some eggs. Trail food. All right, so it's cold and wet and there's bright storm clouds across the sky. It is drizzling. It's miserable. The trail is muddy. It's well-worn because you're heading to where all the miners uh, typically camp. 
I'm going to get everybody to make me a riding roll, please, on your way out to investigate the scene of the crime. I may not be very skilled at this. Oh, dear. Then make me an unskilled test. All right. So Savage Worlds well, again. I you, skill. I you, just don't think Oh, I'm who got a critical well. critical failure? That was me. Well, Dr. Actually, Israel no, Stone was... has the uh, critical failure. Wow, none of you passed around. Got... No, John Morgan did. Weez is not good at riding. Hey, we're not good at the riding. Got, I'm good <laughs> nope. at the shooting, but nothing else. All right. You guys, need, you guys need to spend more time with your horses. Uh, looking at the way of your horse. ass, I don't think we do. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine's a donkey. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> The Sioux are quite adept at experienced horse riders, and um, everybody except for John Morgan yeah. is having a hard time keeping up with them, especially in these conditions. Uh, and that's, for, you know, for the most part, that's all it really is. It's a little bit more, you know, it's embarrassing more than anything. You know, but Reverend Israel Stone, you, it's a little bit much. You're pushing your horse. You're trying to keep up with the others. And your horse is on the edge of the trail, and it loses its footing, and it gets its foot kind of caught between a couple stones and it, it gets a little hurt uh as <laughs> as you critically fail your horse uh and wow. it uh as it kind of gets its foot caught it loses its footing and goes towards the pine trees that are on either side of the trail impaling one of its hindquarters on a tree hmm. Oof. your horse can carry on it's injured it's it's whining it's bleeding uh, but it, it's it's fatigued now for all purposes, game wise. Uh, it has the condition fatigued, so it has. There's gonna be negatives to your riding rolls going forward, your poor horse. And it's 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 like I lagging behind it. it. Can I heal it up? So yes, negatives to my riding roll, not a good thing. <laughs> so does some? Do you have you have magical healing? You're blessed. I was gonna use regular healing. So it just try and patch specifically it up. says. You use magical healing on it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to stop. You're gonna have to bandage it up. It's gonna need time off of its off of its well, leg. Well, then let's try out that magical healing. All right, we're gonna need some power points here and use some healing. Everybody has to stop. You dismount. You go back to Reverend What's Stone. What's going on back there, Reverend? Whose horse Jeremy, is kicking stop. up? Stop. Kicking Jeremy up the donkey. Us. Stop. Why? Why have you, you stuck your stop. horse on that tree? I mean, I don't know much about riding, but that does not look right. Land. Why is that oh, uh, branch up there? It. That looks sore. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll notice this and stop the suit. I'm fairly sure that the devil's put in impediments in my path. Yeah, that'll be what it is. Yeah. All right, these ask fellas him if you'd like. These fellas aren't so good in the wilderness. Satan. Well, in the wilderness. Yeah, we're just on a road and we're having trouble. Fortunately, the good Lord says stewardship of the animals of this world falls to the powers of man okay well if your okay. name's not Stuart, well then you're in trouble uh if you click the button again uh ben does it give you a thing where you get to roll how much you heal for or is it just uh just a roll to succeed it, it opens up it says mod extra pp and then there's a faith button to roll okay what does it say in the year <laughs> <laughs> what does it say in the description for um for how much you heal? Just a success does like one point, or what does it say? Removes wounds less than an hour old. A success removes one, and a raise removes two. Okay, so you what? Lay your hands on the wounded horse's leg, and let me hear you say hallelujah. A bright light <laughs> emanates in the dark, overcast area yeah. surrounding. Well, it. reminded of the business of Genesis earlier i shall point out as i just did to my colleagues that stewardship of the animals was granted unto man by the lord and so it is my god-given right and in fact duty to protect these creatures mm -hmm. I love so i shall let the light of the almighty it's just like into this heal the horse you said oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, take oh, the wheel. Sorry, I dropped the ball on that one. Sorry. <laughs> that's a, that's on me. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So you heal the horse. You heal, the horse is no longer fatigued. You're not going to get any negatives to your rolls. Uh, and you've miraculously used your the word of whatever deity you pray to has uh, has healed your horse. 
So you carry on. Wow, Reverend. But the Sioux, you're still at a slow pace. All of you except for for the Ranger. For John Morgan. So... Well, Mr. Morgan, if you can keep tabs on where those Sioux fellas go and just keep us in the loop, then we'll follow along at a slightly more sedate pace if that meets with your approval. Uh, I'll have a word with them. Um, and I'll quietly say to the Sioux from a distance, you'll have to slow down. These fellas answer good. Quietly from I'm, a distance. I'm riding like a shit. Oh, you guys are far away. I've ridden off with the suit. <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny little <laughs> yeah, Your feet are on the ground, mate. <laughs> All right. Uh, Angry Clouds. He's rocking the full Yosemite Sam yeah. special with a donkey yeah. so small. Yeah. That he has Massive to lift hat, his though. To ride Massive him. hat. <laughs> Angry clouds. Uh, he acknowledges. All right, all right. And they kind of they slow down the pace for the rest of them. So it takes a little bit longer to get here. But after a few hours, you do eventually reach the scene of the murder. Uh, as you roll up, sunshine penetrates the clouds and illuminates oh. the sad, gruesome scene in front of you. Uh, I was going to say that was nice, and then you said gruesome. Gruesome. <laughs> You come across a small camp. There is a single ratty tent that has been set up oh, 30 yards off the main path, and it's visible from the main road. Uh, miners' tools and other necessities are strewn about the, the camp itself. There appears to be a makeshift table that holds uh, a couple of dirty plates and spoons stone ac strewn across it. It looks like there's a pot of whatever they were eating last night when this murder took place. And there's two bodies laying on their backs. Both are wearing coveralls and heavy jackets. And uh, they're littered with arrows. Angry Clouds and his companions, they remain mounted over at the entrance to the camp. And uh, he just kind of holds out his hand. He says, please, please, do you mind taking a look and determine what, what happened here? Of course. I'm going to dismount and I'm going to kind of walk over to where the bodies are sure i'll put and start eyes. investigating the scene i'd like to check the stew pot see what they were eating yeah you take over the stew pot it looks like they're eating some some deer stew last night i'm gonna be looking for things like tracks traces if there's anything unusual about the arrows yeah so there's a whole bunch of skills we could pull on here to to get some information so tracks go ahead and make me a, a survival tracking roll please uh Oh, four is good enough. So you start looking around the tracks, you start looking around the area, and it appears um, there are prints in the mud, uh, that of the, the miner's boots, which you'd expect being their mining camp, but there's also moccasin prints. And there's one obvious pair of prints only a few feet away, uh, feet in front of where the miner's uh, bodies are. It looks like the miners may have been down on their knees in the mud and the bodies moved from there as well. So it appears the they were moved. standing or, mo or on their knees when they died. Looking at the scene also, there was a ton of blood here where their knees were. You determine it appears that maybe their, their throats, when you go over to the bodies and look at the, the tracks, their throats were slit before anything else Before they were shot. Yeah. The other thing I about like the moccasins... I there's anything I can notice in the camp. So yes. not an investigation, more a notice. Make me a notice roll. The other thing roll. you notice about the, no uh, the moccasins, moccasins uh, is that they seem fairly new, like not worn or broken in. They're very smooth in the in, on the bottoms and the footprints that were left behind. Um, which is unusual because this is this was being pinned on a, on a Sioux, a Sioux warrior, uh, and he would have been wearing moccasins all the time. Well used, yeah. Yeah. So this stands out to you as well. Notice roll Israel Stone. So, like yep. I said, uh, the men appear to be on their knees. Their throats were cut. I'm bold. examining the camp more than the men because the marshals got them. Sure. So I want to see if there's anything unusual about their camp. Yeah. Can I assist with that? Good reverend. Sure. You can assist with that. Do I roll as well? And then... What, what? Yeah, you'd ro roll as well, please. 
Ooh, oh. look at that. Ten. You got a raise. Yeah, so looking around the camp, you see that there is a small... You find a small trail at the back of the camp. And it leads down what appears to be like a marsh or bog or stream down there. And uh, it looks like you find some footprints leading down there as well. Reverend, did you see this? I do now. Is it is it the same boot prints that the ranger found? Hey, John. Uh, I think yeah. I got something. Got a trail over here. Okay, I'll kind of cautiously approach the trail, being sure not to disturb mm -hmm. anything that could be construed as evidence. Yeah. Looks um, like someone's trying to frame the Sioux. What makes you think that? These moccasin prints. They may be moccasins, but they look new. They're not used. Yeah, you don't Looks want to like go out with new shoes on. Those things it's... can pinch. The... The fellas, their throats were cut before they were shot. What's the well, point in shooting them then? Well, frame the Sioux. They put the look... arrows in there. It looks like that they. Uh, I suppose the, the... it's easier to shoot a man full of arrows if he ain't moving, trying to get away from him. That that is and much easier. I have tried that. They what? were on their knees, I think, when they died. The other thing is the body. This bodies? was an execution. It was an execution. The other thing is they're scalped. But they're scalped. you've also okay. you've determined. Uh, with all these the, roles, these successes, that the scalping was done after they died. Oh, that ain't right. Yeah, someone's trying to frame this. No, in Sioux tradition, you scalp a man before he did. Yeah, so, this is a this is a fake out. And most oh. folks will just take this as gospel. They'll see this and they'll go, "Oh well, look, he's been scalped and shot full of arrows." This be a Sioux killer. Engines. Where yeah, does this, this trail lead? Let's follow this trail, see what we can find. So the funny thing about the trail, go ahead and make me a, a notice roll as you can all kind of break this trail back behind camp. Da. Give me um, give, give me one four here. There we go. Stone. What were you gonna ask, sorry? Uh can I use a one of the uh the chips Benny. Like yeah use a benny. benny so just click on the benny on your character sheet and it should drop onto the table also yeah there you go and just re-roll has anybody been playing up their hindrances i don't even know <laughs> um i need eating an extra sausage hey! on the ride out <laughs> look, at <that. laughs> look at that woo nine okay it's extra sausage all right so you're going on the trail and you're looking at the the muddy footprints and the mud left behind on this trail and it looks like that newer set of moccasins only goes in about 10 feet they stop then you notice something leading into the camp and out. It looks like bare feet. Bare feet footprints in the mud. There's also a set. Oh, human feet that are bare rather than the feet yes. of a bear. Yeah, not B A R E. Uh bare feet, human feet. There's also a set of well worn moccasins heading down in this direction. I suspect the uh, well worn moccasins would be when the Sioux found these fellas. We could ask them. We'll ask them, but it's strange that they'd approach the camp with bare feet first, then put moccasins on. Maybe someone wanted to be stealthy. Maybe someone with like jingly jangly spurs. Yeah. Well, it's let's not add thinking. evidence where there is none. We'll go based on what we have, not on what we believe. But I had. I'm, well, I'm sorry, I'm Reverend. Go Did talk you to the repeat suit. that? I have all the evidence of God that I need, son. Oh, okay, good. Well, I have off. all the evidence that my idea is a perfectly valid idea. Well, you pursue your idea. I'm going to go and say a few words over these poor dead gentlemen. Okay, that'd be nice. So, with your with your crazy role there also, Reverend, or no, John Morgan, and you're looking over, it, um, who else were you rolled a 10 for notice lonesome harry also yep the two of you notice you're kind of on the trail and and the preacher the reverend's gonna go back and say a few words these footprints they continue on the bare feet and the well used moccasins they start they continue on down towards the bog or whatever is down there uh and as you're kind of following them, you're not straying too too far away you start to notice that hanging or dangling off some of the branches of the trees along this path 
is globs of like sticky blood and patches of torn skin and other tissue. John? Just hanging off of the branches. What in tarnation is going on? Well, that's new. Did something explode? Did somebody explode? Is it leading in a particular direction? I mean, does it look like someone's been like pushing a body through the undergrowth or No, so and it's it's high. It's like it's like waist oh, level, it's shoulder level, like it's high up on the tree. So it's not somebody wasn't dragging something through the mud. It look almost looks like something's like brushed up against it and it's just kind of peeled off as it's done so. And you look at the footprints down in the mud as well, and it tracks with that. Like something was stepping in the mud and almost like brushing up against the trees. How big are these? I'm going to put my boot in one of these footprints. How big is these feet? Average sized man footprint. Okay. But how, how much damage did this tree do to the whatever it was that did that? So with I your... Mean, with how your, much flesh? <laughs> yeah, with your rolls here, it looks like... So it's like it's like patches or like or strings of torn flesh and tissue that are hanging off you kind of track it for about the first 20 yards and there's already enough to fill like a mason jar there's so much of it wow. and it kind of <laughs> continues on down this path when you look at the the the, the skin and the tissue that's left behind it's very soft i mean does, does it look like it's been dead for a while or no 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 this is like fresh and bloody and oh yeah the blood's kind of dripping off of it the skin is very very I don't, moist i don't know what the word to be soft <laughs> it's yeah this this isn't old this isn't like old tangled dried up flesh hanging off these branches and trees We're... we need to we need to check the bodies to see if they've got damage that would be reminiscent of this okay have you got like a spare jar or anything you always got food Maybe I thought you might have an empty pickle jar or something on you. Jar. Uh, yeah. I thought he said jar. Give me a minute. Oh, I'll literally pull out a jar of food, eat the contents, kind of oh. just give it a swish in the stream, and then oh. put the. Well, you're not near the stream yet. The... There's quite a it's quite a trail leading down the stream. But oh, yeah, okay. you can eat it. I'll give you a Benny. You keep eating. I'll give you a Benny for all your your I'm, eating because you're an obese. I'm collecting some right, of this for... goop. Yeah. For I don't know science or something. Sure, you're gonna touch it. Uh, I'm going to try and get it in the jar without touching it. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. You can take, like, a stick and kind of just, like, scrape it off and put it in the... Yeah, and you start collecting it. As you're sitting there and you're collecting all of this this tissue and this bloody flesh that's hanging off the trees, everybody who's there on this trail starts hearing a... clicking noise. It, it, at first, it's kind of, like, just lost. It sounds like it's in the wind. You kind of... Put it off you think maybe it's a bird or something or maybe it's a squirrel but then you kind of come to your senses and it's it something is making this faint clicking noise somewhere nearby okay um, so. it's where the winchester's coming off the back sort of whirl it around <laughs> loading it john you reckon we got trouble well i'm not taking the chance all right i'm gonna um, I'm going to kind of call back. Hey, Reverend, check the bodies for rips. As opposed to holes. <laughs> I shall do just that. I yeah. shall pause in my, my deep and abiding prayers for these poor folks. Well, get Ace to help you. But he set up a card game on that there table, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, Ace is just kind of eating the leftover stew. I don't know. Can we tell what direction the clicking's coming from? It seems like it's coming <laughs> down <I> muted. <laughs> from further down this path. Um, it's very, very faint. Uh, so you call back to the reverend, the good reverend, and you start looking over the bodies. You see there's arrows riddled in the bodies. They've been scalped. Their throats have been slit. There is no sign of torn flesh off of these bodies. Ace, can you head on down to those boys and tell them that these guys haven't been cut up in any way? Uh, okay. I don't want to um, shout near the dead. It's disrespectful. It's a perfectly normal communication right, right there. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to say to those nice people um, that there is no... Um, uh, it doesn't look like they were killed by the arrows. I'm oh, a bit okay. confused. We, no, we I, that. 
Okay. Have they got we have... any flesh torn off them? They do not. I point at the trees and go, like this flesh. See the flesh uh... on the tree? That's not normal, I've yeah, been told. Is. Right. I... Fellas, stay quiet. Let's go low, go quiet. I think it's down there. And I'm just going to kind of crouch low and try and sneak forwards yeah. with Chester out. Okay. As you start to, so you see, keep hearing this clicking noise. All of a sudden, um, Reverend, over in the camp where the, the Sioux are at the, the kind of like the entrance of the camp, and they have all of your horses with them. They're kind of got the reins of them. The horses start kicking up a fuss. They just start getting all mad and crazy, and they're trying to break free from the Sioux who are, who are keeping them for the rest of you. Uh, when you notice this, it appears that Angry Clouds looks quite concerned. And he's like, get, get, get the others back here. Can, can you get, where, where do the others go? All of in a trail down by the stream. Get them back here. Something's, something's spooking the horses. I shall fire a shot because that'd be the quickest way to get them back. All right. <laughs> the rest of you down the trail. You're about 20 years out of the trail. <laughs> you're yeah. shot back at the camp. They're trouble back Sounds at like camp. Sounds like we're missing something and just run. Double time it back to camp. Can I try and ice. calm the horses? Hustle, 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 hustle. Yeah. Hustle. Yeah, you can. I don't know if I had the right skill set for that. Do you have like an animal handling? Uh... No. Of course. <laughs> of course yeah. not. No. Nothing will stop the horses being spooked like gunfire. The, the Sioux are doing their best at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> doing their best to also calm the horses. <laughs> um, You could make, oh, an untrained test. To do your best. The Sioux are also doing quite a good job uh, it trying to... It just seems like the right rest... thing to do. No, I, I agree. To restrain them. Oh, yeah, you look at that. Oh, no, you got a three. Because it's minus two to your roll when you're untrained. Yep. So, you step in there, and you're you're out of your element. Uh, the rest of them, they, they're putting their hands on the side of the horse's head, like on their neck, and they're kind of talking to them gently, and they're petting them, and it's calming the horses down, but they seem really agitated, and they're, they're pulling towards the trail where the others are. And you look over at the trail, and as you do so, you see the other three come back up the trail. One of them is holding a jar full of something or other. You don't know what it is. Red and fleshy in nature. And the horses just kind of keep pulling in that direction. And, um... Yeah, never never smiles is is quite, uh... Quite, quite concerned with what, uh, so, yeah. what is taking place. As we come back, you know... Winchester panning around looking for what's going on. What uh, what what's with the shooting? Quickest way to get you back here, fellas. Uh, these Why? boys think they heard something. They think there's something going on. Now would you guys would you fellas like to clear up for us why it's so important that everybody be back here? Yeah, never smiles, he says, um uh, downhill is very dangerous. He looks at uh and at the rest of you and he looks well, over at the other zoo and they kind of they they disapprove and they give like like a shrug come on what are you not telling us we that can't is... help you if we don't know what's going on someone's trying to frame you you asked boy. us to come out here and help you i need you to be clean with me now okay. and tell me the truth what's going on here someone's Listen. trying to frame you that's right arrows they're sue but we trade with the white man all the time. Anyone can hunt these hills without guns. Easy to get. Moccasins too. I um, I doubt. Those ones are new. Yeah, They're I doubt. Yours. Exactly. I doubt Never Smiles would be wearing a new pair of moccasins at this time of year. Also, those those boys weren't killed by the arrows. What, Their throats uh, were cut. That's hmm. not the point here. Why did they, you suddenly decide that we needed these guys back once the horses got spooked? Listen, the trail over there leads into a muddy swamp. We call it Horse Eater Woods. An evil spirit lives there. It eats anything but loves horses the most. Does it make a clicking noise? It, uh, it does. It lets out a call to horses. Did you hear? Yeah, I that's did. why we were it's going coming, down there. It's going from down there. Does it leave behind a trail of, like, flesh and goop like this? What's it in this here now, jar? Hold up the jar. He seems confused. Oh, he, he's kind of taken by it. It was, a, it nope. was in the trees. 
I in got the it science. In the that trees. is some unholy gore you have there, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, yes, don't you don't are mind right. that bit of pickle. No. Oh, did you leave some pickle in there? Oh, oh that was well the unholiness I was speaking of. No, no, he says the the, the the horse eater, it's large and has bluish dark flesh and slimy. It does not have skin like a, a man, and that's what this appears to be. No, this it doesn't look like a man, does it? We found bare footprints. No, wait. Well, how, how big are the footprints? They're about Human normal size. size. Oh, the horse eater is massive. It's huge in stature. Oh, we found man-sized prints. There's no reason we can't have two things going on here. Well, that that is true. Yes. There could be men well, in league. Could men be in league with this horse eater? Hmm. Or could uh, this thing be tamed or trained? No, this thing cannot be tamed or trained. But uh, stranger things have been going on here in the hills recently. Perhaps there are ones in league with the horse eater? I, I think these fellas should be buried here. If anybody's yeah. back in town sees these, they will blame you. Mm, they got they no will. family, shouldn't we? Well, I'll leave the it to the Reverend. We'll do right by them. The, the we can bury here can these say fellas some words. here, and we can say some words, and we can take back some of their possessions for their families. If but, we take uh, the bodies you're quite back, right, Marshall. This will they start do a not war. need to see these bodies. Okay. Well, is there mining equipment? Is there shovels? There is mining equipment all about. Um, but uh, the Sioux, he does, he does agree with your ranger. He says, "No, yeah, this will, this will start a war. These men are framed. They're not going to believe us." He all said, right. Well, let's bury them then. We can bury the men. We can go down there, but it's dangerous. There's one. There's one thing. If we do want to go down there and investigate further, we need to take some salt. Spirits hate salt. I happen oh. to have some. I'll reach into my bag. Yeah. <laughs> massive condiment bag. He well, says I was that going to check the camp to see if they pepper, had any. Mustard. Here we go. Salt. You it's ordered like a little sachets. bit of salt. He says that's... Hundreds of tiny sachets of salt. It's, 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 no, it's no, not it's, enough. It's, it's, the, it's the a horse, shaker. The horse eater is massive. That is not enough salt to... Okay. So where salt else can we get salt from around here? Well, we could go back to Deadwood, but that's... Few hours back. That's another eight hour journey round He's trip. Sits there and he kinda thinks and well there is a closer source. And as he says that the uh, the other Sioux that are with him, they start to argue with him in Sioux. And he responds firmly to the to the other three. And then he turns back to continue, he says, A traitor lives nearby. He probably has salt. He does not follow the old ways, so my friends consider him not an enemy, but something of a, a madman. But which is the greater threat here? An unpopular man or a giant blue horse-eaten demon? I think it's probably the unpopular man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a horse, so it's not going to eat me. I assume that you're making the, the mistake of assuming that just because it's called a horse eater, it only eats horses. Well... Otherwise, why would you call it a horse eater? You because it, it likes horses. Bodies. Did you not hear the man? You just call it an It likes eater. horses the best. Well, you call it a prefer horses eater then. Well, we don't call you a prefers bean eater, do we? <laughs> well, I don't prefer beans. I prefer eggs. For beans to horses? I prefer beans. Well, I don't know. It depends actually on how you prepare the horse. All right. We're getting sidetracked. We Take should us bury to this... these fine folks. Do we we need to bury, bury these, these folks and then go and first? visit your traitor friend. We must bury these these gentlemen first. We can risk someone discovering them. I will start digging with my puny, puny arms. He, start... <laughs> he starts... This is a mining camp. Use a shovel. I was There's going pigs. to... Reverend, you do this on purpose. You know I'm using a shovel. But I was just referencing the fact that my arms are very puny. They are quite like noodles. They are. Makes me very flexible, though, which is very good for the shooting. Okay, animals. oversharing now. Oversharing now. Look, we're not going anywhere till these fellas are buried. Let's okay, get these let's, fellas in the ground. Let's do that. And we'll pick up shovels and picks and start digging away. Well, Ace, what, make once you've. Coffee. What, so you can see that angry. Um, 
Angry Clouds is arguing with the other Sioux still after you've decided you're going to go to the nearby camp and buy this this, this salt from uh, one of their one of their former own who no longer observes the old ways. And uh, Angry Clouds comes over. He says, "Listen, my my companions won't go with us. They will bury the bodies. They'll stay here and bury the bodies and wait for us, and we can go acquire the salt. They won't set foot in the camp." Okay, are they going to be all right with the prefers horses, but will eat other flesh eater? They should be fine. They are okay. They are aware. Okay, if we're doing this, the Reverend has to say the words first. Yeah, these we've got to give these gentlemen a proper burial. Well, why don't you folks go ahead and get the salt, and I'll stay here with the these fine Sioux gentlemen and finish up. Yeah, with the burial couldn't possibly go wrong. <laughs> It's it's another it's about an hour's ride away from here to go to the the trader camp. Do you want to leave them? Uh, he's not very good on a horse. I'm not very good on a horse, <laughs> but at least I didn't reverse my horse into a tree. You're going to we're going to go yet. see tra- Trader Dick. Do you want to you know, join them go see Trader Dick? Let's go Doesn't see love Dick. Trader Dick. All right. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to go to Trader Dick's and we're going to go get some salt, hopefully. Yeehaw. Maybe some whiskey while we're there. <laughs> so go ahead, everybody, and let's make another riding roll as we oh, head dear. to the nearby camp and to Trader Dick's. Yeah, I had such high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Holy. John Morgan with a 14 for riding. Remember, all you need is a 4 to succeed. Yeah, I don't think I got that. <laughs> I got it. If you're gonna ride, ride in style. Ah, backwards. <laughs> uh, John, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss you another Benny there. You're uh, you're kind of keeping the rest of your group together. It's a little embarrassing, your posse. You know, the way they're they're riding here. In the I'm more of a civilized clubs. terrain fellow. I'm not really the whole, you know, backs woodsman kind of guy. Come on, put some effort in. We've got to catch this bastard. The horse is meant to put the effort in, not me. Little little Shetland is riding ahead of you guys. <laughs> when in doubt, let your horse do the thinking. That's what my mother always used to say. So I think she was my mother. I can't remember rightly. John, you have no issues pressing on. Uh, neither do you, Ace, on your little Shetland. Uh, but Harry and uh, Reverend Stone, your horses are pulling the whole way. They're pulling back towards the camp you came from. Something is, is has grabbed their attention, and you're having a hell of a time keeping with the others as they're kind of pulling and rearing back. But you're able to keep on the trail uh, and just a little bit ways behind the other two. About a mile or so up from the miners' camp, you ride through a campsite uh, along Yellow Creek Road. And as you do, numerous miners are on either side of the trail. They're, like, cooking and repairing tools, sitting in there, peeking up from their tents, waiting the for the drizzle to, um, hey, fellas. to pass by. How's it going? Afternoon. They, they kind of give you a lucky? dirty looks uh, <laughs> as you as you ride by, especially with the uh, with angry clouds with you, with the Sioux warrior who is with you. You notice as you're kind of riding through this these makeshift mining camps that there are um, there's flyers hung up all over the place. And they say, big capital letters, come brothers and sisters to the Chapel of Red Waters in Deadwood, Dakota Territory, exclamation mark. We provide sustenance for both the body and soul. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Isaiah 1, 19. Uh, can I just grab one of them as we kind of ride past? Yeah, you can grab one. Yeah. Just kind of while I'm riding, you know, confidently letting the horse guide me i'm mm-hmm. gonna read it and make see if there's anything that looks weird doesn't seem weird it looks like this is probably what uh that one fella was handing out also in the thoroughfare in deadwood when you're heading out it's from the same church the church of the chapel of the red waters it got it looks flies like... all the way out here all right yeah. I'll, I'll stash it in case it becomes relevant later sure sure they kind of sneer at you as you ride through you know you say hi or howdy fellas they the odd one tips their hat at you and they look uh pretty worn out and could use a day back in town to go drinking or whatever else they they 
take their mind off of the hard life out here. But you continue on. You press on to Trader Dick's. And about a half mile or so from there, you come across uh, a, a little wagon set up for business, open for business. Uh, there's a tent over top of it, seeing as how it's raining. And underneath the tent, you see a haggard looking man with blue eyes and black hair. He's got a worn coat and a bowler. And he's kind of sitting there. He's got a, a big blanket wrapped around him, a big buffalo fur blanket wrapped around him. Hey there, would your name be Dick? I am... Yes, my name is Trader Dick. Your name is actually Trader Dick? Did your parents name you that? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Dick and their son Trader? Uh, this is what I do. This is my profession. What, uh, what... What are you fellas looking for? We need some salt. Lots of it. Salt? Whoa. How much? I got any... Kind of breaks out a, a little bag or a little a little glass jar of salt. Uh, here, I, I can. Have you got any more? How much more? All of it. Uh, uh, how much? I'll look at the angry cloud. How much do we need? He says lots. Much salt. How much, much salt. Uh, how much have you got? It was well. I got a about a one pound bag of salt. That's that's all of it. Uh, but it'll cost you. How much? Uh, a dollar, which is really high. That's yeah, that's, <laughs> like a, that's a lot. That's very. Of... That's a lot of money. A dollar. I think you are. Oh, pardon my French here, Reverend. I think you are pulling our leg there. Now, do you want to really reconsider that price? Uh, Open, oh, show the guns. Hey, do you want to roll intimidation? Yeah, why not? All right, trying to intimidate Trader Dick. Not gonna happen. Uh... Do you want to spend uh, a Benny? Ah, uh, go on. Fuck or you just want to pay the the dollar? Ah, uh, spend, spend a, a Benny. Penny. Spend a Benny. All right, re-roll. See if I can get lower. Five. You trader Dick. He kind of looks at you and he recognizes uh, angry clouds and. I kind of have a bit of a history. He looks at the group of you and says, all right, all right. Um, 50 cents. That's my final offer. All right. I don't want I any trouble. No trouble. We've got a whole camp of miners back there about half a mile. You start shooting. They're going to come over here poking around. 50 cents and that's it. I wasn't going to shoot you. I moved my thumb over to the knife. Do we uh, have money? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have money. Yeah. You got any whiskey? Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's got he's got whiskey. I got a bottle of whiskey. It'll cost you. <laughs> okay. Says. Well, we'll take the whiskey. We'll take the salt. And we'll call that a dollar. How about that? He smiles. Sure, um, deal. Hands thank you, you very much. Pound That's bag an expensive of salt. bottle of whiskey. <laughs> and a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> and he's just like, yes, deal. It takes snatches your dollar. Um, looking at his cart, does he have any like provisions? You know, like jerky, that kind of thing. He does have jerky. He's got, yeah, dried meats, preserved meats. He's got ammunition. He's got some weapons. He's got some mining supplies. I'm going to, I'm just going to buy, I'm going to buy me some jerky. He does not have dynamite. You can buy some jerky. It'll be like uh, a penny. Yeah. For a stick. I'll just, no, no, hell, hell no. I'm going (laughs) to. How much jerky has he got? I'm gonna get that back. I'll You're gonna get a whole I'll jar of jerky. Buy. It's gonna cost. It's gonna cost yeah. you uh, twelve cents. Yeah, big, big jar of it. Mason jar filled with jerky in, in the in the bag. Well, my last mason jar is now empty. So, wow, well, it's, it's not full of anymore. flesh. Um. <laughs> it's not full of food. Let's hope you don't get that hungry. I am aware the whiskey did not cost fifty cents. I just wanted to leave on a positive note. <laughs> Roger, give yourself a Benny. You got a Benny purchased for you in the chat there. Oh. Spec 206. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, thank you, Dick. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> you have a good day now. <laughs> yeah, you you, you too. And he tips his bowler to you. Is that everything? Where, where are you fellas headed? What do you need that much salt for? 
Uh, we got uh, some. We're making a fun. really big stew. Yeah, and we got some beef. We need to salt What'd that up. What'd you get? Did no. you had that Vega. salt beef? Mm, a moose. That's the best. What did you? What did you? What did you bag? What do you got? What's that? that that's big. No, Buffalo. we better get. We better get right. Moose, elk, <laughs> tip the hat. Fish. Big seeing you. It's a big fish. Thanks, what, what real so, big fish. What sort of fish? Really big real one. big one. Do you, you know, always the, ask this many questions? <laughs> the the ones the ones with like that that go. Oh, you know how your parents named you after your profession? Well, I'm called Shoot in the Face Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm called Mistake Ace. <laughs> Oh, oh, that makes me cry every time you tell people that, Ace. Right, right fellas, let's wrap it up. Let's get going. What's sure, strange, right. I, I never we've made got, mistakes as a kid. We've got places to be and things to solve. He looks let's at you all going. kind of odd. He gets back down in his chair, wraps the, the buffalo fur uh, blanket around him again, and bids you adieu. A good day. Yeah, mounts back up, turning the horse around and riding back. All right, so you head back to the hey, camp. Hey, look, fellas, it's another mining camp. Wow, these guys are ugly. <laughs> yeah, the same one you just passed through. All right, on the way back, your horses are really pulling at you this time. Go ahead and make me a riding roll at a negative two. Oh, crap. Oh, how do we put a negative on it? Uh, when you click on it, it'll come up the window. Situational mod. Yeah, do put I negative two to? in there. Well, I don't want Who's going to gonna die? Uh, I'm going to die. Oh, no, I actually did. I failed, but I, I didn't crit fail, so that's all that matters. I Who I is got. getting the exploding? Holy I crap. John know. Morgan is like ace rider here because your dice keep exploding. <laughs> so you're you're doing even better on the trail. The, the worn wet trail said, than you are. I think the, the horse guide me chomping on the jerky. Yeah, even more so than your Sioux uh, companion here. You're up. You're leading the way. You're leading the path, and you're doing much better than him on the on the trail. The rest of you... Your horses are pulling, they're they're baying and neighing, and they're just kind of acting all unruly. You have to really, really hold the reins tight to keep them in check. Something is driving them mad. Nobody got a critical failure, though, right? Okay. Uh, so, as long as nobody got a critical failure, you're okay. You keep together, but you're really laying behind. The day is passing by. It's now late afternoon by the time you get back to the camp. When you get back to the camp, though, you notice the sewer gone. And there are two fresh mounds, but you are greeted by a pair of strangers investigating the camp. One man is wearing a white suit beneath a, a cheap duster and a straw hat. Another man is wearing a dark suit and a raincoat, and he seems to be struggling beneath the canvas of a camera. And it looks like you just see him go, three, two, one, and then poof, the flash goes off. Hey, uh, what's I going on here? Yeah, the, the, the man in the uh, in the white suit with the cheap dust, he comes on over and uh, he introduces himself. Goes, uh, Hello, friends. It's clear we've got uh, some skullduggery here. I'd appreciate it if you uh, didn't disturb the crime scene. Identify yourself, mister. It's a... He's in a, a blonde-haired man. And he looks like he's in his early 20s. He goes, uh, Lacey O'Malley of the uh, Tombstone Epitaph. And he gives you a card. You from a newspaper? Yeah, so the Tombstone Epitaph is actually quite notorious here in, in Deadlands. So it's kind of considered a bit of a rag paper or a tabloid. Uh, they specialize in all of the, the strangeness going on in the West. So they report on these things that are happening... Part of your duty is also kind of to keep this stuff quiet because you know that okay. this stuff's true. So the Tombstone Epitaph is kind of has a, a bit of a, a nefarious uh, um, kind of air around it. Okay. Um, so the camera, I mean, see, there's still the big kind of slates at this point, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's on like three legs. It's on a big tripod. He's got the, the, <laughs> the cloth hood over his head and yeah. He's, they just took a picture of the one guy underneath it. Uh, you guys are in the vicinity of a ranger investigation. You need to leave now. Uh, freedom of the press, says the the one who gave you his card, Lacey O'Malley. 
Freedom of the press, freedom of speech, that's a great thing about this country. Yeah, we, we're not breaking any laws. You are when you are asked by a member of the law to get the hell out of my area. What law are we breaking? You are disturbing a crime scene. Oh, you what must happened? leave. Go now. on, tell tell me some. He pulls out a little notepad. Oh, tell me oh, some more. Oh, what crime scene? On, I pull, what? I pull out them. Winchester. <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. I'm, you will, I'm you will leave gonna, now. Oh, let's not shoot the reporters. No, I think we should people, shoot the reporters. It no, would, it, no, no, no. It wouldn't not, be the first time. Now, let's get not out. commit first degree <laughs> murder. <laughs> I um, don't can think I, it's first so degree. Is the guy that's taking the picture, is he holding the the slate? Yes. The, I'm going to shoot it. What? Uh. <laughs> not, not him, the slate. <laughs> yeah, but if you fuck up, it'll uh, be him. Uh, yes, you're I've shoot. got Benny's for a reason, right? <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. God. <laughs> oh, we're shooting. Okay, can I play? Yeah. All right, we're going to use um like the, the cult shot rules here, where you're going to be shooting something <laughs> smaller. Uh, So we're going to shoot... And we're going to do Quite it at a, range, it's so going to be a, a minus four, because you're shooting at something minus small. Four. A minus four I to your crap. shooting roll. I just love the idea of it's like, I'm close range, you're just like an inch away from it with your battle. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Wow, That'll even with a minus big. four. Even with a minus it's four, you hit it with blown. a raise. You shoot this thing, and it just, you hit it right at the exact spot. It breaks it falls to the ground. It gets covered in mud and water. And uh, the guy holding is like, oh, what, what's going on? What's the big idea? And the, the reporter over the, over the bayou is like, hey, 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 what are you doing? You're, you can't do I that. Said, I can. I said, leave now. Uh, uh, John, I'll handle this. I shall go this is a t- This is a legal matter. You need to leave it, now. No, no. It, it's all right, John. I'll go over to the reporter. And I'll kind of like... <laughs> take, like you know not in a hostile way just like kind of taking around it's like I do apologize for our friend uh, he's having a rough time uh, you know it's it's a bit difficult uh, I think his wife died I do apologize you will be compensated for what has happened um, please do not speak of this event I recognize that it goes against your reporterly duty but uh, suffice to say it would be quite um well, it'd be kind of kicking a man while he's down. And look, he's pathetic enough as it is. So just, you know, let's, you know, I, as I said, I can, and I would like to use persuasion to. Yeah, go ahead and roll persuasion. Okay. I'll fail and it will be for naught. No, no, four. no. <laughs> okay. The, guy, the cameraman looks at you, goes, and it's all right. And he holds out his hand, waiting for that compensation that you offer. He goes, yes. okay, all right. We're... Where is my monies, or does it not matter? It doesn't matter. You can just okay. I, I, I. However much a plate costs, I, I pay him that. Sure. So as you're putting that in his hands, and John Morgan's got his repeater rifle out in someone's face, and you're like, "Oh, hey, hey, come down!" The horse are going mad at this point. Uh, you've dismounted your horses, and um, Angry Clouds is trying to keep a hold of them, and they just they they break off and they start heading down that trail. What happened to me oh, in the to, Sioux while these guys were... Oh, were you... Like so did, I'm sorry. I thought you went with them, Reverend. I apologize. No, so no, you no stayed I like... stayed behind. That's oh, why I I'm sorry. Shot. I apologize. I thought you ended up going with them. I apologize. But so that's while... okay. No, I mean, I, I'm cool with that. We can carry on from, from where we are. I don't mind having been present. So... But I kept my mouth shut. You kept your off doing their Otherwise, thing. you would have been there when the reporters rolled up and they started investigating, poking around the scene with the, from the epitaph. Yeah, that was why I was... I was like, wait, what? Oh, so, I'm sorry. I miss. I misheard you. I apologize. That's okay. I don't mind if it makes the story flow better. I went with these guys. Well, they. I, I like glared the balefully at Dick. Well, I like the idea that they like when, and of Seems course, like we'll it. put a good name in for the Lord. You were like, oh well, these gentlemen are okay in my books. That's <laughs> just bad. Like, yeah. Oh well, uh, okay then. Darn to oh, investigate away, good sirs. No, no, it's all cool. It's all cool. Um, I went with you guys. Yeah, no, oh, it's like being in a Marvel comic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your horses are breaking off. Wrong. They're they're going mad, and they're breaking. They've they're going through the camp now towards the trail. Oh, what what's happening with the horses? Where are they going? Angry Claus says, um, it, it, "I'm still on mine." <laughs> oh well, then it's going towards the trail. If you're still on yours, it's 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 moving the trail. If you want its back, so you're ho- you're holding your repeater out, and it's your horses opportunity is <laughs> breaking away. 
I it's got going down mine, towards but... where the clicking came from. It is heading in that direction. And speaking of which, you're hearing that clicking now. Oh, can I tell try us what and you find, John? Can I try and get the horse to stop? You can make me a riding at minus two. It seems that'll just kind of get control of it. It's not going to stop it. This thing is is possessed. This this creature. Oh, no. Actually, okay. if I was with you guys, I think I've made a horrifying link in logic that you don't want to know about. Let's uh, get I'm you. Gonna, I'm going to spend one of a Benny. We don't. Okay. Go ahead and re-roll that. that again. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying so to we, stop the horse. You're trying to stop the horse with all your might. Um, and it is like... It is just pressing on. It's almost digging its heels. Like you're pulling and you're rearing back on the reins. And it just kind of keeps trotting. Uh, I'm going to say it bucks you off. But you're because your riding roll is so high. And you're so used to being in the saddle. That you're able to 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 dismount the horse without being injured. Because you rolled a 10. You got a, you got a success with a raise on there. So you're, you're good. Uh, and you're holding the reins though in your hands. So you still have the reins in your grip. And this horse is pulling. Pulling and pulling and pulling, yeah, and it's taking it all of your tree. strength. Okay, yeah, you tie it to a tree, and it's fighting and pulling, and you hear. I, I worry for oh. little Jeremy because he is bad sized. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a blanket <laughs> over its head. Okay, yeah, you've got a, a saddle blanket. You could take that I'll off. I'll make the monster invisible. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean it. Generally can, speaking, you know, it, it, it calms an animal. You, you throw a yeah, blank over the horse ear. Go away, shoot. That's <laughs> bogey, man. Oh. It, it generally helps calm animals when you do that. I, it depends on the animal and the context, because it can actually upset them more. Uh, depends. <laughs> What are you, Sorry. some kind of animal expert? Yeah, I know. It, it's so how, shocking. How dare you be? Uh, all right, so... The horses are heading the direction, and uh, the the reporters go, "Hey, what's going on with that horse? What's going on? Why why are they all heading down? The what's that clicking noise? What's what is that?" It, if he doesn't is... leave, somebody shoot him. No, 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 no. I can explain. I think this we should simply. let him go first, Frank. Right? <laughs> as I have informed you prior, uh, we are not very good with our horses, and it appears the horses do not like us. But that is okay, because we have friends. Who are helping us learn about the horses isn't that right and i gesture to the one of the suit the suit well there's only the one suit left uh, angry clouds oh, okay. he's the only one that's okay, left the other suit have rode off after being the bodies uh he kind of ignores you goes who has the salt uh, see salt do. is an is a necessary component in riding a horse this is why we're so bad at riding horses. Strolling back up the trail towards the rest of them. Why is, still, why is he still here? Eating I'll say, salt and going, we're not riding the horses very well. Why is it not working? I said get going, boy. Looking straight at the reporter. All right, all right. Hey, relax, relax. What was it, Marshal? Sheriff, what are you? What are you anyway? Do you have Deputy? horses? Deputy? Where are your horses? They do have horses, uh, but their horses are have gone down the path, so they're kind of stuck there. Listen, our horses are down there with that guys, and they point at you, deputy. And uh, so we're going. We're going to go take a look. We're going to. We need to go. We need to go fetch our horses. And they click, start click. He says, you know, cocking the. Marshal, save your shells. This is not the time. If these gentlemen encounter what I think we're they're about to encounter, they will learn for themselves. Ezekiel 2.4, the people to whom I am sending you are obstinate and stubborn. Say this is to an them, investigation. This is what the sovereign you are, well, Lord says. They are not permitted to be here. They are well, not permitted to be here, but we cannot prevent them from being here without compromising our own integrity. Well, clearly be at they're peace, not my very brother, good and let us go back either. Either. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to outright threaten the reporter. <laughs> I'm going to intimidate him. To sure, roll, him roll, roll intimidate, roll intimidate. <laughs> Wow, are you, uh, are, your guy is what, stubborn or pig-headed or something? Stubborn, yeah. Yeah, okay, take up another Benny. Uh, take a Benny. Uh, Ezekiel 2-5. Uh, whether I feel they listen or fail now. to listen, for they are a rebellious people, they will know a prophet has been among them. Yeah, and, uh, that was kind of a bit of a double thing, because it's one of mine is, it's my way or the highways. So. Yeah, and Ben, <laughs> take a Benny also. Um, 
feel like poor Nathan was supposed to be making sure the supernatural is not exposed, and the pair of you, and I'm saying this out of character, are doing everything in your power to let them see the supernatural. Pretty much. <laughs> well, they won't see it for long. So, yeah, does, does trying to intimidate him away work? Uh, like, yes. So they, he doesn't have a horse. They, <laughs> they start, they start, the they, they kind of start walking towards the trail, but they're not going very fast. They're like, we, we can't walk. It's, it, we won't make it back to Deadwood by daylight. You can head there's up a, to that mining. There's a mining camp. camp. If we recover there's your horses, we'll bring them to you. They kind or of shrug. Yeah. And they I'm say, well, gonna... uh, how about we stay here? We'll stay. There's a camp. There's a tent back here. To the, no, to the mining camp. Now. Oh, uh, they reluctantly, <laughs> they're moving back towards the trail, and they keep looking over the shoulders at you to see if you still have a gun aimed at them, and they're I, slowly... The guy, the guy kind of in the camera is going to be sitting there like this. Oh, God. He's got this big camera over his shoulder. Right? Yeah, he's got the big wooden tripod. Him. Well, that'll learn him. <laughs> but the people of Israel are not willing to listen to you because they are not willing to listen to me. All the yeah, Israelites no. are hardened and obstinate. Let's be about like, our business, gentlemen. I feel like biblical quotes and guns so are, they, are not uh, a substitute for good manners, but uh, so okay. Are they now leaving? They're, they are leaving. Uh, okay. Very slowly. They're I was shuffling talking about their feet. the ranger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fair did enough. all then. I didn't right. understand what that meant. Do we have the salt? We don't know what yes. to do with the salt. But yeah, who is the salt? We have the trail. Trust me, uh, I will know what to do with the salt when the time yeah, comes. Yeah, yeah. I'll kind I of say pat down little Jeremy. Oh, oh, oh no. no I'll, I'll just kind of say patting my side bag. <laughs> I right. think we should just go follow the horses before they get eaten by the prefers horses eater. Yeah. Ooh, Let's gentlemen. Get, Let's get going. I will going. make you as unyielded and hardened as they are. Um, Angry Cloud, what Ooh. do we need the salt for? We need it for the horse eater. It is, it is, uh, it's the only thing that can hurt it. Your guns, your knives, my arrows, nothing can hurt the, the horse eater other than salt. My guns no. can kill anything. No, not my this ancient friend. evil. I dare my you to try. I was killed by salt, so I understand. I will take that dare. It's not good for the hearts. <laughs> so the only way we can hurt this thing is throwing salt at it. Are you kidding me? That is right. I think you'll find there's more than one way to hurt this creature. The word of the Lord shall be like fire in my mouth. Well, I got hot lead. That's, gonna, that's gonna work. It's gonna I kind have of playing eat cards. random jars that I've got in my pack. <laughs> Just anything made of glass. And then once I've done that, put some salt in it so I can basically throw, you know, salt bombs at it. Yep. You consider maybe popping some of that salt into your shotgun shells, Ranger? Uh, adjusting the oh. armaments within my shotgun shells at this particular point in time is not the easiest thing. For clarity, Look. I'm assuming this is rock salt and not like table salt. That's... <laughs> uh, it's table salt. It's I table salt. It is table oh, salt. Okay. <laughs> Lonesome ha Harry, I gave you, uh, I gave you a Benny because you're overconfident with your guns there. Thank you. Um, all right, so Angry Clouds pulls out his bow and arrow and he starts heading down the trail, whether you're following him or not. You said yeah, that going wasn't going to help. What's the point in doing that if it's not going to help? He Just, looks oh. cool doing it, though. Oh, I'm going to get my guns out. Well, don't forget also, the barefooted man. Be alone. The barefooted man was the one that killed these two gentlemen, Wait, not the, not the there beast. Are two horse eaters? Uh, like is it a date? Shoes. Or... Well, there's one with shoes, and there's one without shoes, and then there's the prefers horses eater. Angry, <laughs> Angry Clouds holds up a hand and he points down the trail. He says there are more than one set of barefooted men that came through here. Yeah, that's more than that's, one? That's, what? that's his way of saying shut the fuck up. <laughs> All gonna have a very loud conversation at the back here. And he he points to the the Warren Moccasins trail as well, and he says this this could be Never Smiles. Okay, let's just get down into that swamp and find our goddamn horses. Sorry, Reverend. I'm assuming my horse is still tied to the tree. Your horse is still tied to the tree and is going absolutely mental. It is thrashing its head, even with the, the blanket across. It's thrashing. It's trying to break free of its reins. 
Yeah, you're worried gonna... it could actually injure itself by doing so. I was so. going to say, your horse is going to do itself damage. It keeps doing that. It will do, but if I let it go down to that thing, it's going to get more than a bit of damage. Well, it's probably going to get eaten. Precisely. By a horse eater? By a preferred By a horse, horse eater. eater. <laughs> All right, so Angry Cloud starts heading down the trail, and puts his finger to his mouth like, shh. And he starts moving down quietly. Uh, we move stealthily the like the thing. wind rustling through the brush. Wind. <laughs> wind. wind. So you make your way down the trail like the Except wind. First beans. Hey, you're the bean eater. And about oh, I, that is a vile calumny. About 50 yards down, you see a series of skulls mounted on trees they appear to be horse skulls and as you walk by they're covered in moss and grime they look like they've been there for quite some time these are not fresh at all well that's cheery gentlemen i fear to tell you that i suspect that the red river church may also be connected to the horse eater what i believe it's possible that the bounty of the land upon which they allegedly feast may be the cast-offs of this beast i fear what? that they are not holy but are instead touched by the devil oh like me just like you yay Ace. okay Ace. well I, i'm a pretty friendly guy maybe they'll be remember, friendly remember our inside voice when we're talking about the demons oh <laughs> yes i'm supposed to refer to him as mr satan yes please thank Keep you it down boys we're getting close. Oh, what? Oh, okay, good. I should take out my pistol and spin the barrel. You already got the one? I got the two. Yes, I but take... I also have this stick. That's why I'm the best take out in the my West. derringer and hold it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Your lady gun. A little pepper pot. Oh, <laughs> no, we need salt, boy, not pepper. <laughs> All right, so the trail continues and leads down it leads down into a bowl between the hills and there's a muddy path winding between large pools of brown stinky stagnant water and there's bones everywhere there appear to be horses deer human all over the place some of them fresh and they're just kind of strewn about randomly and poking up out of the mud I hand out some of the jars that i filled with some salt thanks john it appears as you, as you enter this kind of like stagnant swampy area, right away there's two gory horse carcasses laying at the head of the trail. Is, Is there anybody we recognize? These are not your horses. <clears throat> you don't recognize them, but it looks like their rib cages have been ripped open and something has devoured the innards of these these beasts. Okay. Well, well that's just place. unclean. I'll just look at um, well, Angry Cloud. That's awful. I'm guessing this is, exact, is what you thought we'd find. As you say that, the clicking gets really loud. And he holds up his hand. He says, be still. It is very close. With that, everyone make me a minus two notice roll, please. <laughs> is that vision based on movement? <laughs> minus two. How do we make something minus two? I got oh, a zero. zero modifier. Minus two. Like that. Got me a five. I, I quite I literally got, three, got lower than a one. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'll use, use a penny. Uh, I hope this works. Oh, hang on. Minus oh, two from the hey. result. That's okay. You it's got a good seven. Enough. You got it. Okay. Very good. You I notice you spend a penny and re-roll uh, no. in a tree was, nearby. It's funny, I got zero. You got <laughs> You notice in a tree nearby. Got a clue what's going on. There is an there is a a Sioux warrior up in the tree, and it looks like he is surrounded by these bones and uh, all around the base of the tree. And the base of the tree is also just covered in this that tattered flesh and tissue and blood that you saw earlier on the trail 
and he sees you and he waves and he acknowledges. And Angry yeah, Cloud goes, that's of... never smiles. It's He's here. As he says that, in the ground around the tree, all that red stuff and those bones poking out, all of a sudden these creatures start pulling themselves out of the mud. Everybody make yourself a fear check at minus two as you start to see these humanoid creatures carcasses pull themselves up out of the mud i just want to make a fear uh no i'm sorry spirit spirit and a minus two for fear okay so i get plus two to fear check yeah this so is so, i think a lot of you have me? bonuses to fear checks if you look at I your edges taunt instead of spirit if i okay. get a raise then everyone else gets a plus one so <laughs> nope. so uh, for me it's just a flat roll i guess because it's minus two plus two so how sure. how do you roll for scared? Uh, roll your spirit. Roll spirit. Oh, okay. Oh. Is there a way to like make spirit roll? Yeah. Uh, click yeah, on you just, just click hover over the spirit, spirit attribute and press the yep, word yep, yep. spirit. Oh. All right, everybody passed. You're so you yeah. see these things click. Climb up. They're humanoid. They're they look like people, but all their flesh has like is off of their body and there's like mounds of 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 meat and blood you can see bones picking through they kind of make these weird like slurping noises and they come up out from around the base of the tree and they start reaching up what? and never what is supernaturally out. evil is that and let's say they look supernaturally evil are they supernaturally evil yes they might be friendly living on dead i don't think they are Let's Sorry, that one. They, they tip their hats politely. Yeah. yeah morning, flesh. Morning, morning preacher. Uh, was met something that had no flesh that was friendly. Well, gentlemen, this reminds me of Ezekiel 6 5. I will lay the dead bodies of the Israelites in front of their idols, and I will scatter your bones around your idols. To war, gentlemen. Hey. Harry, what about no skin Jeremy? He he was quite friendly. <laughs> no, I I never liked him. Is everybody oh. named Jeremy? <laughs> Everyone the ace can think of is called Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Break <laughs> So I remember the... he lost the card game with the devil and now he's a pony. The little fist <laughs> on the <laughs> on the top left hand corner, if you right click on that, that'll pop out the combat tracker. Uh, fist. It's a Sorry, fist, the top right hand corner. It should be like oh, the second you. icon. If you right click on oh, the yeah, fist yeah, yeah. itself, yep, it will be the combat tracker. And you should see all of yourselves on the combat tracker. And the way combat works in Savage Worlds is you're literally dealt cards out of a deck, and you get a new card every round. So whatever you get for that round is going to switch next round. Uh, there's a really handy uh, add-on on here that does the deck for you which is really cool so i'm gonna hit the button and we're gonna see what you get for this round but, oh all right so first up okay now, ace is high we've got our we've got our preacher our blessed with uh with an ace so you're up first these things if you break out the ruler they're quite whoop that's not the ruler that is a template uh <laughs> Break out your ruler, you can tell how far away they are. On your character sheet, pace is the number of squares you can move on your turn. So if you look at your pace, that'll tell, me, tell you how many you move. Uh, and also, if you click on your guns, it'll tell you the range for them. So range is going to be important because if you're outside of, you know, short range and you've got modifiers and penalties for medium range and so on, medium long. And is that squares again? Yes, that'll be squares again. Cool. Oh. So, Preacher, you're up first. Uh, 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 smack the unholy. I am going to boost. You know what now? I'm going to boost. I heard the word. You heard me. Uh, this is I... no time, Reverend, for a chocolate bar. <laughs> It's never a bad time for candy. <laughs> uh, I reckon those boys over there could do some candy. 
I just love the idea that, like, when John hears boost, he goes, oh, 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 oh it's just magic. Oh. Right, I am going to boost. I'm going to throw some extra power into it. Uh, I'm going to boost the marshal, thusly. So that's to boost his trait of what's your shootiest trait, Rog? Uh, I'm not sure what you roll when you do an attack. Shooting. You yeah, I think you just if you're on the quick act. Oh yeah, so shooting agility. Yeah. Agility is my shooting. Okay, step. well I got a ten to boost his agility then. Does it list in the effects there what happens when you get a raise? Because you got a raise on your roll. Uh, not there, it doesn't. Hang on, let me go let into me my take... edges. What's the power? You're using ba boost low. Oh, or... It doesn't say, I'm afraid. On a raise. Okay. Oh, hang on. If I go into powers, it Boosting. does. I'm an idiot. Da, da, da. Trait one die type or two with a raise. So you got a raise so, on that. So four is your target number. So a raise means uh, if you get four over the target number, that's a raise. And you can have multiple raises. So you can do four, eight, 12, 16, 18. It keeps going, right? So you got one okay. raise on here. So single raise means it goes up what? By two die types? Two die types. And that lasts so, for five rounds. So what? what's your shooting die type? What's the, the die that's associated uh, with shooting? My agility is eight. Uh, what do you have for your shooting skill specifically? Oh, shooting skill. Because it is can be d8. D8. So you actually have that's a gone d up to a d12. Pete's happy. You can have a d12 for the next five rounds. How does? Can I we'll just go ahead sheet? and change it on your character sheet. Like shooting, if you click. How do I do that? Let's see. When I click, oh no. Hmm. If I click, oh no. If you click Edit. the pencil in the there right hand go. corner. There should okay, be a drop-down yeah, yeah. menu for die. Right. Just change that to a D12. Yeah, got it. So you now got a D12 for the next five turns. All right, so that so on your turn, you can move and you can do an action. You can do more than one action also on your turn, but you get negatives for that, for each additional action that you do. All right, well, uh, in that case, my, I will move forward six mm -hmm. squares. Okay. Hang on, where's me? One, two, three, four, five, six... And as I do, as I go, I shall raise my Bible and I shall chant out that your people will fall slain among you and you will know that I am the Lord. So are you casting another spell? No, no, that, just, was, that, was, that okay. was my that was the verbal Big. effect on um, boosting Roger. Gotcha. All right. Next up on the turn order is Never Smiles, who's up in the tree. He's going to shoot down at uh, these things. He's going to help you. Where he can, with his bow. He hits one. Wow, for ten damage. All right, so he, you see him raise his bow. He lets loose an arrow, and it finds the mark on one of these things, and hits it quite, uh, quite, quite critically. Uh, but does not take it down. So he hits it, finds its mark, it goes like right into its throat. Uh, but it's still up and moving and groaning and making these weird <laughs> slurping noises. Uh, next up, Lonesome Harry. Stand back, gentlemen. I believe this is my area of expertise. The rest of you just take it all easy and enjoy the show. Oh, I've got to advance. I don't know. Yeah, so you can move up to your pace. Because I think you're outside of short range right now. I did that on purpose. I made it so you all have to move with <laughs> to not incur modifiers. Uh, except old uh, old Derringer's going to have to move quite a bit, I think. <laughs> well, I've got <laughs> step up my check. <laughs> I will have to move, but I have my check. So, so you're nice. now, yeah, how many away? 12? Yeah, 12. And what's the range bands on your weapon? Uh... I think 12 is short range for you. So, 12, 24, 48. All right, so you can fire at them with no penalties. Uh, and you have ambidextrous, and you have the two-gun kit, right? So you can make two attacks with no negatives, one with each gun. I will do that. Okay, 
So only yeah, two you... separate shooting rolls, please. Are you going to shoot at the same target, or you want to shoot at different ones? Uh, uh, I will pick off uh, the... T I don't know if I can ping things in this. Uh, yeah, if you hold, one. yep. And that one. Okay. This is the one... Gotta get their attention. ...that he injured. Okay, so go ahead and make your first roll. <laughs> with your pistols. Oh, look at that. Okay. Boom. All right, so that's a hit with a with Somebody a raise. Just dice vomited onto the board. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's multiple raises, right? Because the target number is four, eight, twelve. So you've got two raises on this. Uh, that's good. Roll roll your other attack. We'll do the we'll get the attacks of the way, and then we'll do damage. Uh, Five is still a hit. All you need is four. All right, so for the damage on the first one, click on your gun again, and the pop up is going to come up. On the right-hand side, it's going to say raise damage. There'll be a box, I think. You want to click yep. that. So click that uh -huh. and then roll damage. And it's going to give you an extra D6 on your damage. So you did 11 points of damage the first shot. You didn't roll that. That's, that's okay. You could re-roll damage if you want to spend Benny. Or you don't have to. But, um... I'll click that. That's all right. I'm just trying to get their attention. Get them away from that nice boy. Yeah, 11 points of damage. Bullet goes right into the back of this, like, shambling zombie-like creature, uh, and it slowly turns and makes this slurping, gurgling sound as it looks at you. You boys had enough horse? You want the best in the West? <laughs> All right. Damage on the other one, a 10. Again, I'll take that. finds its mark. All right, just... Uh, right, sinks right into its back, and it kind of turns partially, and it looks at you through the corner of its eye, but it's still, its body is still motioning up towards the tree with the Sioux warrior closest to it. Oh, I reckon that's me for the moment. All right, that takes us to our Territorial Ranger, who is up next. Okay, I'm just going to kind of go to there, so I've got a clear, sh oh, do I actually move it? Kind of go there so I can see something. Yeah. Because the short range on my gun is 24. Oh, wow. And I am just going to sh shoot that one. Can I ping? No. Just hold the left mouse button. Should ping. There you go. Okay. okay. That one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and fire. I softened him up for you. Look at these D12s. Six. Wow. Six to That's hit. No raise. Thing. No raise. But, um... Job was the D12s. Go ahead and roll your damage for it, please. Nine points of damage. So you steady your Winchester rifle. You fire. And it hits it square in the back. And just, like, blood and, and tissue just burst and ooze out of the back of it, and this thing falls to the ground and collapses. Angry clouds? You said these things couldn't be hurt by bullets. Um, he says, these are not the horse eaters. Oh. I don't what, know what, what, I don't know what the hell these are. What a tarnation of these <laughs> maybe, things. Maybe they're, maybe they're horse nibblers. He says, these, this is not the horse eater. Remember, I said it's gigantic, a huge, massive creature. You know, these are not... Don't, these are pony eaters. eaters. They just kind of... They can't yeah. manage oh, no! Horse. Jeremy! <laughs> Jeremy! <laughs> save Jeremy! <laughs> Maybe they combined to form one enormous creature. All right. They, stop them doing that. They don't have any ranged attacks. They just start shambling in your direction. Uh, and there's still one remains under the tree, just kind of like reaching up at uh, Never Smiles, who's up in the tree. That's boy. Come on, boys. I'm the tastiest. Come on. This so stands. That takes us to our huckster, who was up. Yes. With right. your little derringer. Uh, how how do oh, I maybe how do magic. I move? Maybe some uh, you should just be able to move your token. Oh oh okay arrow key. Well, yeah, I use your arrow keys. The distance. Like you're playing Tetris. One two. Oh oh no no no. Oh, oh okay. I didn't know that. Holding it. Uh, one two three four five six. There we go. I'm, I'm all safe, and I'm gonna shoot my. <laughs> Bolt, which should be ten. I'm gonna stop with the action. What's your What's it your range? Ten. Uh, my range is um my smarts times two. So I oh, you're doing a will. spell smart. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. very good. <laughs> I thought you're shooting your so a bolt like out of your derringer. 16. Sorry, 
<laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, make me make me your casting roll, please. I, I might have even had to have moved because it's sixteen. <laughs> My range. God damn magic, boy. <laughs> you could have okay, sat back there yes. and thrown bolts. Yeah, you all of a sudden, uh, like, it's not even a real deck of cards. Uh, like, a deck of cards manifests in your hand, and you start kind of flicking the cards and doing little tricks and flicking them up in the air, and all of a sudden, a bolt shoots at your hand, but it fizzles. Ooh, <laughs> spend a penny on that one? Spend a penny. What have I told you about? I think... the powers of evil in my presence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I imagine the Reverend is telling me off, which distracts me. I'll, I'll spend a penny. It just fizzles. I like how it actually throws a Benny on the table, like a poker chip on yeah, the table. That's really cool. Yeah, it's quite nice. I also, yeah, you're just like, you say Jesus, and I'm just like, ah. Oh, wait, I accidentally hey, clicked. Never mind. You can give yourself another Benny. I... Yeah. Look, whoa. Ooh. Holy Ooh. crap, a 20. <laughs> so roll your damage with a raise, please. Okay. Uh, right, so I... That. Click the damage button. Uh, it'll say with with raise. Click that box. Yep, and... yep, yep, yep. Oh, do you want to spend a penny to reroll your damage? Now? Yes, yes, <laughs> uh, yes. I will. I will. Because that would be really cool if I did that well. Hey. So all this. So again, let's <laughs> rewind. <laughs> you a, ma a mystical deck appears out of nowhere in your hand. You start flicking through it. You start doing tricks. You're tossing cards up in the air, and then you. Hold one of your hands, say Gambit style, it starts to charge, you toss the card through the air, all charged up, finds its mark, hits one of these things, and it just explodes as it hits it. Which one are you aiming at? Uh, probably the one that hasn't taken any damage. The That's alright. That the is right enough side, yeah. to outright kill it. Okay. Nice work, guys. You're, you're quite pleased with yourself, but then you look in the bog yes. next to you, and Jeremy is lying there dead. <gasps> oh no, Jeremy! Well, that now that happens. Well, you have to to this. Aaron's going, wow. We might as well call you Gambit. Not anomaly's like he's Gambit's grandpappy, and then Millie's like, yeah, Gambit isn't as good as I remembered him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that sums up the community for you. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. That's fair enough. Y'all might enough. be a garblag if. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Next turn. So, as you're sitting there, and you're all quite pleased with yourselves, you're dispatching these things. Uh, it's You're determining, like, whatever left the flesh and all that hanging from the trees, where these things, you look down at his feet, they're bare feet. Their flesh is dangling and hanging off of their bodies. Yeah. So these these must be the culprits. As okay. you're sitting there and you're quite proud of yourselves, uh, behind you, you can hear hustling down down the, the path. And you look and you see it's the two reporters. Uh, and they look to be a quite quite a uh, a hustle right now and they're screaming something and they're waving their hands up there and all of a sudden you hear like the breaking of tree branches and thundering crash behind them and you see uh. just past them a stampede of a dozen horses heading your direction gentlemen i think we need move uh go ahead and make me a uh, evasion roll please <laughs> As you I see a stampede of horses heading down the trail in your direction. I'm assuming evasion is the, the term, so if I don't have it, it's unchained. Oh, dear. Yeah, I was going to say. Ah! Oh, actually, oh, okay. Could be worse. Time to spend a penny to reroll oh. that bad boy. Now's the time to. No, no Reverend, no! no. Do I not have Jesus! Get stampeded in the face! Ah, uh, whatever. Jesus, please save me! Oh, sorry, sorry, Reverend, I, I, I'd left the kettle on. I'd completely forgot. Oh, Are these horses stampeded. supernaturally evil? <laughs> <laughs> They're supernaturally that, scared to fuck. Yeah. Uh, so who didn't, who didn't pass? Uh, I did not I, pass. I did not pass. No, you shall not pass. I did. For some reason, I have somehow. No All right, everyone who didn't pass takes nine Bullshit. points of damage as the horses brush what past the you fuck? and, oh and knock God, you I over. That. I I literally have like three wounds. But I think I'm dead. Okay, so what happened? The way this works, <laughs> damage works in Savage Worlds is first you're shaken. Horse. 
once you're, you're once me. it goes past shaken, then you start gaining wounds. You have three wounds before you go down. So, but you all have toughness, right? You all have a toughness score. So, no, is nine much. higher than your toughness? Oh yes. hell yes! How much higher? <laughs> a lot. What's your toughness? Like five higher. Oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> my toughness is four. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get killed, killed by, a by horse. horses. I'm gonna get killed by a horse now. So, so, so <laughs> they went like old grandpa. If it if it exceeds your toughness, you're shaken. You're automatically shaken. If it's four above your toughness, so everything goes in 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 fours, right? So it's four above your tough. Yeah. Uh, four above that. Like if you still take four more points of damage over being shaken, uh, yes. then you're gonna gain a wound. Yes. Uh, but remember, you can spend a Benny. To not take wounds. Do that. That sounds like a good so, plan. Outen, burn them all. Th- push all the chips in the center of the so, table. Uh, just do it. Uh, so you I've can got s- me stampeded. You're in gonna the face. You're taking the damage. Yep. Oh wow. I am not. Okay. Do you have to? You only have to roll for the like. All of the wounds. You have to roll each of the wounds that would be applicable. No, so no. So the if there's twelve horses. No, no, no. Not each of the wounds. So uh, on my face. So you, yeah, you took. Okay, so you took how many points of damage over, <laughs> over your toughness? Uh, I took four over my toughness. So that's one Benny to negate all four, isn't it? Yes. From what you just said. So you're still shaken. Mm-hmm. Reverend, but you're not, you're no wounds. So shaken means you're just kind of like stirred up. You didn't take any damage or anything like that. You're going to have an opportunity on your turn to try and unshake. Uh, so you're, you, but you're okay. You're not wounded. How many over? How many five. points over? Five? Okay. Five. So you're shaken with a wound. You're, you, and you don't want to spend? No. Okay. <laughs> take my lumps. All right. Let's learn ro- an experience. Let's roll on the wounds table. Let's see what happens. You become entangled with the horse's legs. Is that a thing? I do. Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. But it's it's a goblet game, so you'll be hitting the nuts, won't you? All right, so the arm. Victim... Oh, no. The victim oh. can no longer use their left or right arm. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Are you sure you don't want to? Uh... Now, can I spend a penny? <laughs> yes, spend your penny. <laughs> You're all about shooting, and you just throw one of your arms. All right. So the, the horse is I only got one freaking arm. And stampede through. Uh, let's in, let's start the next round. So next round, you all get new cards. You're supposed to. Why did that not happen? It still says Remd one. Yeah. Oh, Note to self: Never let Narad Nixaka GM a game for me. There we go. He thinks Aww. Matt is far too nice. Uh, all right. I'm at so the next bottom of the heap once again. Ne- <laughs> Where next, you belong. Next round. You start working for the right side, then you'll start moving up the heap. You all get new cards. <laughs> Uh, a little shaken, a little Damn, rattled. Dude, Horses just trampled through here. But our gunslinger, Lonesome Harry, you're up first. Oh, okay. So I, I did not get trampled by After. a dozen horses. So that's a good start. Um, and Lonesome Harry, give, could, give yourself. Where you go, whoa. Actually, I'll give you me a You are shaken, aren't you? Yeah. Can I unshake? Oh. No, you spent a Benny, right? Oh, yeah, you are shaken. Sorry. Yes. I'm still okay. I'm just so on your turn, have both arms. So on your turn, you just got a you just got a, a Benny from non anomaly. So on your turn, you can either well, you get to do both. You get to roll to try and become unshaken, and if you yep. fail that roll, uh, all you can do is move. But you can spend a Benny if you fail that roll to become unshaken as well. But you get a, you get a free roll, uh, and if you pass, you still get to do your normal action. So let's let's do your roll first. So go ahead okay. and make me a uh, a roll for that. That is to unshake. Mm-mm-mm. I really hope it's not smarts or spirit. No, or it is a spirit roll. So go ahead and make me a spirit roll. You just need a four or higher. And if you do so, you're unshaken and you get to move and attack. If... It seems very unlikely. Reverend, I probably shouldn't be standing so close to you. I think you're holding okay. it. Okay. Oh, the up. horses come through. You're kind of rattled. You give your head a shake, and you're reminded that there's still these ghouls in front of you. And you are you can act. You can move, and you can make your attacks. With no penalties or anything, you are no longer shaken. Right. I've had enough of this nonsense. I'm going to shoot me some skinless fellas. Stand right. back and enjoy the show. I got lots of death for everybody. Oh, come on. Fire! Shooting in. That's a hit. 
No raise on that one, but it's a hit. And another hit. Shoot now. Were you shooting at the two that were closest to you? Or actually, one uh, of them's dead. Oh, get, well, then no. Let's get that dead one out of there. Shoot the dead one. I'm shooting that one. That one and the other. And nice I'll move shoot. the other dead one out of the way. I dread to rewatch this episode and hear our terrible American accents. <laughs> American just, accents. All right, go ahead and roll your damage for me, please. Well, the trick yeah, there, well, son, well. is to watch it on mute. <laughs> well, that's every card play game episode. Oh, 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 oh nine captions points of damage. On and see what they think we're saying. All right, you kill the one that's closest to you. And right, roll the damage for the next one. Up and save us some. Oh, that's just crap. I'm going to spam me a Benny. Oh! That'll do. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Wow! 18 points of damage. You level your I'll pistol, take aim, let loose, and the head just pops and explodes off the last one. Dead. Are the rest of you paying attention? This is how you do it. I, I literally just obliterate one of them in one hit. Fuck yeah, but you. only one. You did one. I did two. Did you notice that? Language. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, mm, uh. I, I do apologize. I said I killed one of them completely. Go fuck yourself. Sorry, Ray. Sorry. I know. I know. Yeah. I know grandma the, I is the good, very important. Yeah, the good Lord's grandma. <laughs> Suddenly, the water starts to break and disperse next to the tree. And this big, massive, humanoid, slimy creature covered in dark blue flesh, almost like that of a slug or eel, breaks out of the water. It's got big, long, sharp teeth, nails the size of bowie knives. And it comes out of the water and it looks at the group of four of you and just lets out a roar. John? Ranger, that one's yours. You're up. I'm, I'm going to uh, move me back here uh, a little bit. Angry Clouds goes, that's the horse here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the prefers horses. Okay. Right. Yeah, that is a big blue thing, just like you described. All right, who's next in the turn order? Uh, it is... John. Territorial Ranger, yes. Okay, how far can I throw a jar? Hmm... I think you need to get right up. Not in there that far. Down his throat. Let me quickly look up Troy. But I know your I, arm. You're gonna need to get closer. It, uh, this is your salt you're talking about, right? Yeah, my jars of salt. Hmm. Throwing is not in the in the uh, the appendix or the index uh, <laughs> rules. Athletics. I it's don't probably know. based on strength, I'd guess. But uh, is it complete guess? You're gonna have to. You're gonna. You're gonna have to get close. You just want to get as close as possible. I'm taking it. Wow! Even to... the fucking horse eater has a better card than me. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck's sake! I'm just looking at here. See. We'll just do... I'm going to use the range of, like, a knife, because I know it's programmed in here. We'll take a look at that. So, there's a tom tomahawk. Let me just look at one of your characters quickly. Who's got to throw a knife? What is that what you want to do? You want to get up there with the salt? I yeah, take I basically it? want to throw salt at it. Yeah. Sprinkle some salt on the horse as Nick goes. The range, ah, so short oh. range is two feet, medium is four, and long is eight feet oh. on a throwing weapon. So you're going to have to get pretty damn close. There we go. Come on, fellas, let's get that thing. Use the salt! Holding a jar. Well, everyone's yes. got jars. I did hand Wee. jars out. We. All right, you're going to get right friends, up to him and throw some agree salt? I that that thing is not to be approached. I whisper. Oh, yeah, that's all I can do. I've moved. You've moved? Yep. All right. It's me out the front there. Do you want to take a shot? Or I guess yeah, it, do it doesn't hurt it, but uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Very good. Hello. I believe Angry Clouds. I'm holding the, salt, the jar of salt. Or right. a jar of salt. Next up is, um, is Never Smiles, who's up in the tree. And, um, 
he just kind of sits there with the bow ready, but he's he's not firing. He knows that this thing's not going to hurt him either. We can get these bloody ones out of the turn order. Uh, all right, that takes us over to our reverend. Good reverend. You see this big, massive, blue-skinned creature roaring at you. Uh, I did declare that the time has come for my holy symbol to come into effect. Oh, funnily enough, I was going to go talk to the devil. They <laughs> minds think alike. So, uh, yes, I shall raise my Bible and I shall begin belting out scripture at this thing. Yes. What scripture are you going to belt out at it? Oh, come on. I haven't <laughs> found the right bit yet. That's fine. All right. Make me your, your faith roll. So it's... It's not how it's... Is it? Extra PP plus two. Uh, three. So you do not succeed on your faith roll. You pray to your gods, but they do not answer. Got to be a Benny on that one because <laughs> they peak. They peak time from <laughs> quite God. literally for the love of no. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we ain't not with that. Love you. No. Your gods do not answer your prayers. Your Go gods ahead. have no power in this realm. <laughs> yeah, All that, right. However, so that, that is a success. Thing, right. Okay. So in which case, any supernaturally evil creature that wants to make direct physical contact on the bearer must make a spirit roll. Okay. Um, area effect attacks are included. So and it's... anybody in a medium blast template centered on me is equally protected. Ooh. Oh, okay. I was about to say, <laughs> I have protected myself with the good lord. Yeah. And none of you. Yeah, good luck, fellas. Oh. No, Lord no, helps those that help themselves. I'm a pacifist, but he is so a pacifist. that means that I can't kill, but well, I can protect the rest you can, of you. Although yes, this is yeah. supernaturally Yeah, evil, you can. So. You you would kill this thing, but no, that uh, everybody's going to be in your blast radius. Okay. Don't worry, we'll kill it for you. I think it also says for pacifists, like you won't kill, but you're not against shooting people in the knees or something like that. So <laughs> yeah, it does does say that I can shoot people. Because as heart. we know, in this beautiful time, the medical industry is phenomenal, and you will not <laughs> die from blood poisoning. I'll be uh, fine. We can make you a lovely set of wooden legs <laughs> for your corpse. All right, so that's our our blessed went. Is there anything else I, you want to do? That's it. I moved as well, so that's me done. All right, it's the horse eater's turn. Oh dear. What is its pace? Eight. <laughs> oh, he's quite quick. <laughs> I'm suggesting it can probably run faster than we can. Or... So this thing's massive. And notice it's like twice the size of you. So it just starts bounding. <laughs> and the, the bog swamp water starts splashing over and is running in your direction. It does not get close enough that it can do anything with you. You don't see, a, you know, a gun in its hand or anything. But it does have these big pointy... But equally, I like, am uh, claws. stood there belting out scripture and bolstering the spirits of my companions and setting up a shield of faith to protect them. Oh, so. okay. the, cloud, the clouds break and a ray of sunshine is shining down oh, on the group of you. Oh, oh. Well then. Uh, All right, Huckster. I, I would like to summon the devil. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to ask a question about all these spells that I have in front of me uh, because I, I have some ideas. Um, how does empathy work in this uh, game? Like, is this, like, is this As the, the spell? The spell itself? Yeah, well, I kind of want... summon the devil. No, 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 no. Like, do I have... I, I don't know. I can't I believe want... the Rolling Stones want... have a song about that. Well, I can do. I can do the role first. The I can talk about spells. I Empathy just don't know what no. half of these things do outside of like what the, what I presume the words mean. Yeah. So um, I'm just reading it here myself. So. Because you, you just you just gain just bonuses just to intimidation, persuasion, and performance and taunt. So okay. it just kind of yeah. It it it, it, boosts, it literally yeah. is what it says. So if you make a roll of any of those against it, you get a bonus. To okay, intimidating so, or okay. persuading. And so you're not gonna was, so. 
Well, I was just going to ask, like, if I was to do the deal with the devil yep. and get empathy as a spell, would it actually work on this thing is the question I'm asking. Because if I can make it go away, that'd be great. Because <laughs> I, I only have a derringer. You could buy my spells. <laughs> spells, you've, man. You've got, you've got jars of salt. I gave everyone. You do have jars of salt. Know. Have you... If your arm isn't good enough, do you think mine's going to be? I'm going to have to be, like, right next and go... It's a lot yeah. closer now. Yeah, you've got... You've got God light around you and <laughs> oh. oh I I wanna just summon the devil. <laughs> you summon that. Uh, is there devil. a different is there a different spell you wanna look at? Uh, you can do that. Yeah, you can do empathy, thinking. that's fine. You wanna do, yeah, do, do empathy. empathy. Even if it fails, I, So I you wanna try and summon it. the devil? Alright, so deal with the yes. devil. Mm. Okay. Alright, so the way uh, this works is so you need to tell me. First you gotta do is you gotta tell me you gotta spend a Benny to do it. Do you have a Benny? Yes. So I you spend a Benny to, to, to summon a Manitou, which is a demon. And you tell the Marshal which power you want to cast. So you've told me Empathy. Which empathy. Uh, and you total up the number of power points required for it. So how many power points is Empathy? Uh, it doesn't tell me. I have nine, so... Uh, it costs one. It costs one. You're summoning You're summoning a demon to, for one power point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You can overcharge it if you want. So that means Ooh, you can okay. you can make it more powerful, but it'll cost more power points. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sounds great. So how many power points do you want to sink into it? It'll give you I'll give you more bonuses for each power point okay. you want. Okay. Well, I've got 8 left. So how, how many could I realistically No, no, this burn? isn't this this isn't the ones you have. These are the ones you're asking for. You're calling a demon down oh. to bestow upon you. I so pretty good. I uh, I'll ask for one more. I'll be a bit risky. Okay. You know? one, so one next, more, please, Mr. Devil. Go ahead and make me a gambling roll. No problem. And I have, as one of my edges, um, I have, um, I have card sharp, which lets me re-roll when making a gambling roll. Yes. And I have something called high roller, which means I draw an extra card anytime I deal with the devil. Yep. Um, okay. So I'm going to gamble... Damn. Um, well, I get to reroll that for, for free, so... Well, you passed, didn't you? Four? Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, I forgot four is a pass. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I got a deck out there. I'm going to deal you some cards. So, you passed with a four, uh, yes. and you get one additional card, right? So, you get five cards. We get six total. Oh, did I actually have to play poker with the deck? Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Oh shit! I do actually not. Okay, no, it's fine. Fuck it. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna give you six cards. Okay. I'm gonna draw them to the table. <laughs> Take cards. I just oh my god! Yeah, you had a joker. Uh, that's. All right. Can you see the cards? Uh, yes, I can. You uh, yeah, did really good. Whole oh, what? You have four of a kind. <laughs> okay, I've got. You've got four I, of a kind a... and a joker. Um, okay. I, they're all kings and queens. That is yeah. uh, quite a good hand. That's ins <laughs> Was this deck not shuffled or something? Uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> like wow. The devil shows up. It's jokers like, he actually shuffled this deck. Oh, jo yeah, I did. Didn't I? So yeah. jokers are wild cards. So you actually have five of a kind. And they give you a Benny. So give yourself a Benny. Yes. So going to the table for dealing with the devil, five of a kind means you gain 15 power points. The duration effect or damage is doubled. The huckster may retroactively add any available modifiers to the power. Like you, you got like the best possible result, essentially. If only you picked a decent power. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's <yeah>. empathy. <laughs> yeah, if you picked Bolt, that would have exploded this thing. It'd guys, like, <laughs> guys. What is the most nigh thing to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes. 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 No, no <laughs> denying. That is can, the we, can we talk thing. about this? Can we? Can, what, <laughs> tell, tell me about your feelings. So so this deck again manifests, and all of a sudden, <laughs> the, the light is shining on everybody but you, and <laughs> there's like a puff of smoke, yeah, yeah. and this demon manifests, and this like table just kind of whoosh, comes out of the ground, and these cards magically start appearing one after another and it's sitting there and it's rubbing its hands and smiling or at you and all of a sudden the grin shrinks and shrinks more and more it's like 
One card. One queen. Two queens. Oh, a king. No. Oh, another queen. Another. And what? A joker. And it's just like, ah! And it like shrivels up and <laughs> puff of smoke goes, disappears. And you're just like radiating with power now with your, with your devil magic. So I would like to befriend it, but I would like to persuade it to leave us alone. <laughs> I will let you make a we... persuasion roll at a plus six. It gets to okay. try to resist, uh, but I'm going to give it naked modifiers. Wow. Did not expect our huckster to blow up on an empathy roll. You might. Do you want me to spend a penny for that? <laughs> you have now tamed the creature. It's your loyal servant. <laughs> well, I could, I could, I could re-roll it. Um... Well done. Get it to eat those pesky journalists, and then we'll be fine. <laughs> And then eviscerate itself. Wow, I might have to reroll my. No, I didn't put my negatives on there. I was putting a negative oh, two on okay. there. So, what do you say to this thing? What do you say to the horse eater? <laughs> it clicks. <laughs> I, I walk up to it. I gently put my hand on its arm. <laughs> I don't think you can get to it by a walk. <laughs> and uh, I say, <laughs> Mr. Horse Eater. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just realized much. that. No, I know, I do apologize. Um, horse eater, we mean you no harm. We have just come for one of our friends, and and we, I would like it very much if you could return to your natural habitat and let us collect our friend in peace, if that's okay with you. Uh... <laughs> I, I think this is it's natural. If it kills me, it kills me. I don't mind. I no, you I you like roll. You like aced your your thing. It's not going to kill you, but you roll empathy, and it looks it's confused, <laughs> and it it it. You've got the power of the Manitou is pulling on it. This thing is a supernatural creature. You've called upon supernatural magic, and it almost seems like it's like reluctantly being sucked back towards the bog you came out of. It's like putting a gi long giant arm down to the ground and pulling as it's being dragged back towards the bog and its fingernails are leaving long marks in there, the water. There. No, no, I want to be your friends too, but you need to return home. Go, go free! And it's being sucked back a number of paces. Um, oh, get back here! <laughs> uh, as it, like some unnatural force is pulling it back into the bog. <laughs> Wow, I did not expect that. Our huckster <laughs> acing an empathy spell. <laughs> I was going to see where it ended up. Okay, so our gunslinger's at the top of the turn order. Wow, we got two aces up there. Um, but this thing's being sucked and pulled back, like, unnaturally. Something is tugging at it and pulling it down into the bog, into the swamp. Uh, is there anything you want to do, Lonesome Harry? Is it's, d this has happened? Do you want to run up there and throw some salt on it? Or what, or what do you want to do? No, I, I don't think I do. Um, <laughs> Behind you, you see the photographer setting up his tripod quickly. He's like madly trying to set it up to take pictures of the the the, the okay. reporter. Like, quick, In quick, quick! Case, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to aim both guns <sighs> at the photographer. All right, the photographer throws his he pokes his head up from behind the camera, throws his arms. Over. What? We need we need proof of this. What is that thing? Look at that. No, what is that creature? No, no you don't. What creature? It's the there big is no creature. fish. Oh, wait, no, we said that to the traitor, not... <laughs> Never mind, ignore that. Yeah, we that. said that to Dick. We don't know about these two. <laughs> um, there's nothing to see here, boys. Click. Uh, yeah, they throw their hands up. They're like, hey, okay, oh, whoa, 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 take it easy. Uh, listen, this is, this is news. This is real news. No, it's not. Uh, our huckster, you're up next. Do you want to do anything? Well, as this thing's being sucked back into the swamp? Um, well, I can't make it go any faster. I I'll probably... And, and this is the only thing left, all the blood guys. All are... the blood guys are gone, they're all dead, and you're watching this thing be pulled back into the swamp against its will. I, I wave at it. Bye-bye! Ta-ra! All right, and on the horse eater's turn, it gets completely dragged and pulled under. You can see it's like trying uh. to pull and prop itself up. It's <laughs> screaming, it's grabbing, it's gnashing at the air, and it's getting pulled under the bog. Uh, <laughs> 
Angry Clouds is like, well, that was easy. Uh, <laughs> who needs salt? <laughs> who needs salt you when you got the that guy? The devil on yeah. your side. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, well, yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, with that, Never Smiles like hops down to the tree, and he can't believe, and neither can Angry Clouds can't believe what has happened. Uh, and he, he and um, Never Smiles thanks you. Uh, uh, thank you for finding me. I, I came across the camp last night, and those men were murdered. They were killed, and I, I found this here. And he hands you one of those flyers that you saw earlier in the in the mining camp. Oh, Reverend, you had a suspicion, I believe. I think my suspicions may be borne out that there is some connection between the church and these creatures. Well, Church of Red Waters, and we got a whole bunch of well, red. Water. People, not not you, fellas. The the ones that got no flesh. Yeah. Is there a connection there? Ah, the 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 two Sioux, uh, there's I, I I don't know. I I can't believe that we 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 didn't die to the hands of the horse eater. What 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 now? Do we do we wait? Do we kill it with salt like we originally planned? Uh, I think we should leave. We got your friend back. That's good. Um, as members of the Legion, I'm. Just, what would the position be? Would we want to stick around and kill it, or no? You you'd want to cover up any traces of it, um, but not necessarily. You don't have to necessarily kill it, or eradicate it. You don't even know yeah. if this thing could be killed. As far as you know, the salt could just maybe weaken it. Okay. Um, again, okay. Same similar sort of vein of thought. What would the position of the legion be towards the say reporters who have stood there and witnessed it uh you wouldn't like kill them eradicate them but you would definitely want to you know heavily suggest that this do not appear in the tombstone but epitaphs next uh edition okay. Ace, yeah. is there anything you can do to fuggle their minds or should i just pour this bottle of whiskey down their throats uh um a mighty expensive uh, bottle of whiskey. I don't want to waste Unless it. I want to summon the devil again. Uh, no, I don't think Please I Please don't can. do that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, I, I, I have I have what my mama used to say, a very silver tongue. Uh, although, admittedly, that was because I used to eat silver. I don't think there's a correlation with that. While they're having the discussion, then, I'm going to walk up and, to the reporter, and stick a coal under his chin, oh, and say, you ever say anything of this, you and your entire family will be dead. You understand? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, yeah, but no problem, deputy. I so think you, they do I law no differently family. in Texas than they do around here. <laughs> Seems that way. So, you guys take a look at the scene. Those those like fleshy creatures seem to have gone back into the earth. You head back up the trail. Your your horse is still tied up. There, John, it seems to have calmed down. As you're walking up the trail, you just hear a faint <coughs> clicking coming from behind you in the swamp. I think we need to come back here and stake this place out and see if any members of that church do turn up, as I think they might. Yeah, well, sounds like, like, sounds like a horse job might. for another day. I was going to say, man. that's the tale for another day. Uh, and that was the horse eater. <laughs> Uh, I did not expect our huckster to get five of a kind and get all sorts of crazy magical boosts to their roll and basically <laughs> negating the whole battle. But hey, welcome to role playing games. Uh, the welcome dice... to role play games with nine. with nine. Yeah, the dice slash deck of cards told the tale tonight. How it did you get five of a kind? Two ways. It was either that or Nye was going to rip his own face off and throw himself into its mouth. How did Very you get true. five of a kind? Like the I odds. Have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the odds of that. Oh, anyways, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys Bravo. for playing. That was really good. We'll have to do another Deadlands adventure in the oh, near yeah. future. Uh, hey, Ben, what do we got going on in the channel this week? Oh, this week is busy, busy, busy. We've had this today. Tomorrow we've got Woofrup. Um, Raj, do you want to say anything about that? So tomorrow we have the second part of Once Upon a Time in the Old World. Uh, that's a fantastic Segway, game. See what we did there. Run by Jim, uh, which is, follows a group of quite young and naive 
want to be adventurers who had a bit of an early wake up call in the first episode. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's on the YouTube. And then join us tomorrow night at 8 p.m. BST for some more Woofer Up fun. That's right. And then on Thursday, we've got Traveller. It looks like there's going to be some in and around the base shenanigans with Team Dodgy having a bit of a poke around and trying to discover things. I think we might have to rebrand ourselves as Team Dodgy since it looks like the upright do-gooders might actually be the bad guys here and we might be the good guys. A bit suspicious about Rog and his let's space everybody policy. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Friday, we have got Spire, Bedlam Hill, the penultimate episode thereof, which is coming along nicely. Come and watch the spooky goodness of all the weirdery that's going on in the city of Spire. And that's us for this week on Garblag. That's it. All right. Well, thank you again, everybody who joined us tonight for Deadlands for this little one-off. And thank you to the players. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun and some unexpected outcomes. Uh, and we'll do it again. We'll do it again in the future. Have a great uh, week, everybody. Mm -hmm.